Uh, Kay. Yes? It's a very special day. It is indeed. Happy Halloween. Ooh, what do you song? mean for Halloween? Play the song. You know the one? Yeah. That's called, that's called uh, Toccata and Fugue. I love that song. Yes. Very good Halloween song. Yes, it is. Uh, it's oh, fun to play. What am I being for Halloween? Mm -hmm. uh, the King of Herrings. Nice. I'm not going to elaborate on that. And you will not know what it looks like. What are you being? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll be, no, I can't say that yet because you guys don't know yet. Yeah, neither do we because this is recorded in the past. Oh, yeah. And not in the future. Yes. We have not recorded one episode of season two yet. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely we not, we definitely totally not. don't. This is totally not odd for me. Um, yeah. And I don't totally don't feel like I under I'm underprepared. Yeah, and I also definitely don't feel like I'm underprepared. <laughs> uh, and so this is just a normal continuum of being DM for me. Yep. Uh, and, and this then, is and then, totally normal for me to be the player. Yes. Uh, we're not switching back has ha haphazardly from anything. Yep. Um, but what are we doing today? Um, we are playing, uh, uh, we are, uh... <laughs> Dungeons and Delicious. No, don't say that. I was gonna say it. Okay. I was gonna say it. Edit that out. I had a funny thing I was gonna say. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, we're playing something based off of your favorite show, where they do a medieval fantasy show with weird biology lore. Yes. Um, and then I didn't really quite know. I was going to make a joke where it's like, we're that show, but then, oh. the sh but then I was going to be like, and also we're doing, uh, you say the thing, you know, delicious and delicious and uh, or dungeons and delicious. No, it's delicious and dungeons. Delicious and dungeons. Which is based off of delicious in dungeons or dungeon mesh. Yes. If you're, uh, me, cause it's easier to and say. And me. Uh, which is, uh, popular anime slash manga about, um, something yeah i haven't watched or read any of them oh yeah neither have i <laughs> uh we're totally just doing this as like a cash grab we're doing um, it as a cash grab cause because we make money yes we definitely make money despite not making money yeah <laughs> um so we make lots of money and we decided to make more money by um catalyzing i guess off of a niche show yep about weird stuff yeah because we're normal people yep and we're not weird but that was a lie, and we, we all, we all, we, we, we didn't get, we all knew what they were talking, we didn't know what they were talking about when they said semicircular canals. Yeah, definitely not, of yeah. course. Yeah, we didn't get super excited about that. No, we didn't, for some reason, we're yeah. such free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I texted you, right? You did, and I yeah. I was like, semicircular canals <laughs> mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I got there, because I was, I was behind like i i was i had started watching it uh after you and i yeah. got there and had forgotten that mm -hmm. it was mentioned and also got super excited yeah that was awesome <laughs> yeah. um yeah so it is uh our favorite tv show well it's my favorite tv show it's uh certainly in top three for me Fair enough. But you like live action shows. Yes. It's so, my favorite. I think it's my favorite animated show. Favorite animated show. It's my favorite show in general. It's my favorite anime. It's my, uh, wait, I don't know. Cause I rank things weirdly in my head. Cause mm. like I rank things. I don't know. I guess it would have to be my favorite anime, but there are animes that like, it's not, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to describe it. It's like, uh, it's like my favorite versus like the best one I've seen versus the uh, one I like, liked the most. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that sort of thing. Like it's definitely the best one I've seen and the one I liked the most, but I don't know if it's my, like, quote-unquote favorite. Ah. Uh, see, it's my favorite because I don't watch anime. <laughs> you know, it, it has to be my favorite. The other ones are, like, good, but they don't live up to it. Yeah. Uh, the other two animes that I've watched are uh, BNA, which is good. It's about racism slash being transgender slash a third option because it doesn't really fit equally into any of those, and uh, Little Witch Academia, which I actually really liked because nice. I'm obsessed with witches. Um... The, uh, wiz or the, wow, wizard hat, no. The witch yeah, hat. Yeah. In our, that you're wearing in the... Yeah, the thumbnail. Uh, and in real life. Not right now, yeah. but in general, I usually am. Yes. 
Uh, what else is happening? Oh, um, yes. Uh, we played that song. Because it's Halloween, but it's not actually. Yeah, probably we are be recording this, this first day of September. First day of September, and it will come out, like, I think, like, the last day of September or something. Yes. It will come out. Uh, Let's go October 1st. No, it's okay. going to come out on the Sunday when it comes out, which is, yep. I think, like, October 27th or something. Nice. Um, but you may be wondering, what? That's not, that's, this isn't, it's not, it's not Halloween. And I would say you're wrong. Halloween starts August 1st. Actually, it started, uh, like, yes. September 15th, this or uh, July 15th this year. Yes. That's when, like, Michaels put out all their Halloween yes. stuff. I was on, I was in heaven. Uh, I was in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> almost heaven. Yeah. I'm talking really fast for some reason. We're excited. Um... I know, I'm just, I took my medication today. Um, I didn't. Uh, I woke up at 12 p.m. Yes, you did. And he said, listen. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I said was, hey. He so said, hey, I woke up right now. And this is what my room looks like. Anyway, Give me two hours. Uh, I don't know why, but the speed that I talk is the speed that I normally talk when I'm unmedicated. Yes. So this is a little sneak peek until I am in my natural state. A uh, sneak peek into your... Uh, twisted mind into my twisted psyche yes into my deepest uh something whatever it doesn't matter anyway um but you may say all right ooh, you're writing Is i'm not actually writing no, anything okay. but. anyway you might be thinking what was i saying oh yes but it's not halloween uh, and i would say shut up it shut always is the fuck up <laughs> We're those annoying, yeah, we're, we're those annoying people who always think it's Halloween. No, it because is. Because those people aren't annoying. They're great. They're, they're correct. Well, I don't think it's always Halloween. Halloween starts August 1st and yes. it ends December. I, I go off a uh, bog leech time. Mm. Nice. Uh, for Halloween, because I think it's an accurate uh, summation of it. Anyway, what was I saying? We were talking about Halloween. Oh, yeah. Why is this not posted on Halloween night or day? Because. <laughs> because. Uh, that's when episode one of season two will come dun, out. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that's coming out then. So that's why this is not coming out then. Yes. Uh, but this is still Halloween themed, kind of. Well, actually, not at all. Yeah, it's Halloween themed because it's a one shot. And we yeah, do one shots on Halloween. We do one shots on Halloween and one time in summer. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that again. Yeah. I mean, we didn't this year. Yeah, I know. Wow. Oh my god, it's oh not my goodness, summer anymore. Oh my goodness, jeez. Well, it's summer. It, it's just wild to me that we had two summers where we've done this. Oh, jeez, don't say that. Yeah. I'm old. Yeah, we're old. My back hurts all the time. Same. Uh, my joints creak. I found, too. I'm going gray. Oh, literally you are. Yeah, I'm literally going gray. Yeah, have you been uh, eating uh, folic acid? No. Yeah, you need to start doing that. Yeah. It's genetics. My mom started going gray. At... Oh, I see your gray hair, I think. Potentially. Oh, uh, maybe not. It was just the light. Huh. Gray hair is also more noticeable on people with dark hair. Yeah, so... and I have nearly black hair. Yeah. Um, Potentially, I do have black hair now. No, you don't. I kind of have a nice, like, uh, crow dark hair where it has, like, the, yeah. the tinge. It has, like, a very tinge of red in it. Yep. It's not, like, cold black. It's, like, yeah. warm black. My hair sun bleach is red. I see and it's probably it'll get darker yeah. as the sun goes dead. Yes. Did you say dead? Yeah. <laughs> What's my hair look like? Probably a mess today. I'm sorry. I've been disheveled. It's Not okay. to TMI. I haven't taken a shower in four years. Same. <laughs> no. Um. No, I look disheveled because I took a shower. I took a shower. I. It, it, what, no, I didn't. I was lying. I look disheveled because I haven't taken a shower in a day. Nice. Um. Which, but I, I'm just very, uh, I'm greasy. I'm like a weasel. <laughs> See, I... They put too many sweat glands in my head when I was being made at the baby store or whatever. <laughs> if I take a shower every day, my hair just goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you can always tell if I've showered, uh, uh, two days in a row, because I usually take a shower every other day. Yes. Um, you can always shower, or tell if I've showered two days in a row, because my hair, uh becomes uh just like a puffball yeah. i have really curly hair um and that happens yeah today. i usually take a shower every day uh except for i usually don't take i usually give myself a little treat mm. uh and let myself um uh 
uh, go to bed without routine, which I hate doing. Uh, so I don't know why I do this on Fridays. Hey. Uh, but I forgot to on Saturday, too, because I was bed rotting. Yeah, Kind that's of. Fair. I, is, it called, I didn't... is it called bed rotting if you also, like, get up and do stuff, but you don't feel like you did? Because, like... I think so. I don't think I actually bed rot, but I kind of do. But then I also, like, ah, I better go to Spirit Halloween. And then I go to Spirit Halloween, and I shuffle around there for a little bit. And then I come home, and then I go back to my bed. Yeah. I mean, I literally didn't get dressed yesterday at yeah. all. Um, like, and I went places, too. Yeah. Like, well, I went yeah. to my grandparents house i saw you when oh I got home right from yeah halloween. <laughs> i i remember saying i wonder where they went um, yeah it was pure halloween yeah oh that makes man sense. i got something for you Ooh. but I, I didn't bring it i'll bring it next nice. time uh, oh, i can't wait until christmas specifically because i have the best present for you i don't have a, pre- a christmas present for you but i do have a birthday present Ooh, which is before yeah i'm turning an age guys you're turning an age you're turning xx yes not d- triple we can digits. start announcing our ages at some point now yeah let's we'll start announcing our i'm 40 yeah and i'm 35 you can tell from my voice yeah and i'm and 35 context clues that i am uh very old and not yes. useful in nature hey our joints creak skibbity toilet yes that's all i'm saying hawk to a <laughs> <laughs> you can you can tell i'm 40 because i speak like i'm 40 yeah true um, you actually, no, I'm 35. Yeah, right? you said you were 35. Yeah. yeah, and you were right or something. And my, my joints creak. Your joints creak. Every time I stand up. Yeah. Should we, like, play this game? No. <laughs> okay, so what have we done? So if you, uh, uh, if you know stuff about Dungeon Meshi, you'll know that there's not a TTRPG based on it. Yes. You know slightly more, you probably know that there actually probably is, and I should have looked that up. But I didn't. No. I'm Googling it. <laughs> yeah, see if there is one. What does it say? Is there? Um. Nope. Nice. We've cornered the market. Yeah, they say the closest one is Dungeons and Dragons. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense, actually. Because it Maybe feels like Dungeons and Dragons. Anyway, but you'll have noticed that, oh god, like a year ago, I was like, I'm making a one-page RPG. That's what my voice sounded like back then. Uh, and I did, but I lost it. Oh. Uh, so that doesn't come out, so I lied. We lie about a lot of stuff, if you've noticed. We're like, we're doing this, and then we don't do it. Yeah, it's because... Uh, we have ADHD and yeah. we're bad yeah. people. Yeah, we're morally corrupt. If you've noticed, K has been like... I'm making a theme song for like a year. Look, or two I now. have the theme song. It's up on my computer right now. You recorded now. it yet? No. Yeah, you said you were gonna do that like two weeks ago. I know. You're like, that's I left what I'm my violin do. a play at a place. Do you have it now? Hmm? Do you have your violin now? Yeah. Okay. Well, you do you want me? Do you want me to play it now? No, you <laughs> say this every time. <laughs> no. Here, I can just hold it up to the mic and no, no, have it no, play. no. Uh, anyway, um, this uh, is why we shouldn't record uh, at. This is why we should always just record at one, because we always end up recording way later if we record at two. Yeah, exactly. I wonder whose fault that is. Yeah, No, well, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. My room's awful. Yeah. I just got a bunch of new clothes, because I'm trying to be stylish yeah. of some kind. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm copying off of K-Style from, like, <laughs> 2020, which is better than what I dress now. If you'll notice, I'm... I don't know. I like your shirt a lot. Yeah, but my pants don't match. <laughs> I took two clothes that were green, and I was like, these are both green, what and therefore they match. Like? They're green, but it, it doesn't match with my other clothes. Ah. Um, so I'm bad at it, but I'm trying to be better. I got some cool stuff, but it nice. all has long sleeves, because that's how layering works. Yes. Which is annoying to me. And I only have two wine shirts, because I used to have more, but mm. I grew a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mostly, I need to go through all of my clothes. Yeah, now because I, grew I grew a little bit, mostly around the middle, because I used to be very skinny during COVID. Same. And now I'm not that skinny. Same. I I need to go through all my clothes because ninety nine percent of that doesn't yeah. fit. I'm theoretically, hypothetically overweight. If you want to draw me, yes. Um, but also, overweight is based off of like BMI, so it's yep. kind of bullshit. Yes. So uh, that doesn't help you at all. Draw an average person. In fact, yes. draw me the way that you would draw how Fallon draw canonically the- looks in <gasps> hey. Dungeon Rushy, which is a segue. And I guess you kind of look like Namari. Namaru? Namari? Whatever her name is. The redhead one. That, you know. Yeah, yeah, I do. It could uh, punch you and you'd say thank you or n- nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. Look her up. I want to see a picture. 
I want to see if I'm right with my assessment. Is it Namari or Namaru? It's Namari. Namari. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, it prompted me to say safe search is on. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, see? Yeah. See, it's kind of like you. Yeah. I see why safe search is on. It's like third result. Is... Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. Oh yeah, somebody, it was somebody making Namari in... No, I was going to talk about the one below it. Oh. I don't know what that is. I see a purple stain in the middle or something. Oh, no, it's just her with body hair. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. Sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't see what it was. I was like, what is she wearing? Yeah, no. Anyway, we're not searching that. Yeah, no. We are searching our souls to find dungeons and delicious, delicious a dungeon. Yes. Are we going to play the game now? Yeah, sure. Oh, Do you want to explain how it works? Yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> Do you want to explain <laughs> what you did? <laughs> What did I do? I have committed grave sins. Yeah, what did, What have you done? What have I done? <sighs> Make your statement. Yeah, I started listening to the Magnus Archives. And yeah. I will know that, that what that is when you listen to episode one of season yeah. two. I will know what that is. Uh, no, I started listening to it. It's pretty good. I was li yeah. not listening to it on principle because um, uh, some people that I don't like listen to it. Uh, like yeah, they, it's me. Yeah, I was going to say like <laughs> No, it was because some people I didn't like listen to it, and, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And also the first episode, I didn't like it because they're British, and nothing happens in the first episode, but I <laughs> yeah. powered through it, and now it's really good, and I like it a yeah. lot. And in two days, I've listened to 51 episodes. Yes. Yeah. Except I didn't listen to the Q&A because I didn't like it. Really? You didn't yeah. listen to the q and I did not listen to the Q&A. You Q should. It uh, answers some of your questions. Yeah, but I don't care. Fair. Uh, anyway, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the TTRPG that I quote-unquote wrote. You um, did. So, how does it work? Um, I need to pull this up. Let's see. If I pull something up, will it keep recording? Did we determine that that's how that works? Yes. Okay. I called the file Wohey for some reason. Uh, yeah, I know. I got an email from you that said, um, that you, er, uh, that was just... The subject line was Wo Hey, and I knew exactly what it was immediately. That's awesome. Okay, so, um, here it is. So, um, it's supposed to be a one-page RPG, but it's not really. It's, uh, five pages, and I put one at the end of Marcel going, Wo Hey. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and the, the image is warped. Yes. Okay. So, here, here's how it works, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, so... You got five stats. Yes. You have brains, hands, muscles, mouth, and heart. Um, and each of those is determined by a roll of a d4, which it, which makes the modifier. Yes. Uh, so essentially you'll have some of the same stats as D&D, &D, but you just determine them simpler. Yes. Which I don't know why that's how it works. Oh, it's because you sometimes need it. Anyway, but we're not going to be boosting any of our stats because it's a one-shot. Yep. Um, so the brain controls the skills. There's also skills like in D&D. &D. The brain controls the skills uh, know, imagine, and look. So basically anything, it's like wisdom, intelligence combined. Then you have hands, which are tinker, soothe, and grab, which is sort of like dexterity, but also a little bit of charisma with like soothe. Like, yeah. It's like you're, you know, patting someone on the back or hugging them or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you have muscles, which do run, uh, push, slash, pull, slash, lift, and sneak. Uh, run is to run. Sneak is to sneak because it takes, uh, you have to, bodies don't like when your muscles don't move. Yes. Or when they are extended. And push slash pull slash lift. I don't know what I was gonna call that, but whatever. Yeah, then you have the that works. then you have the mouth, which does mouth things such as convince people, tell people, and also taste. So what's the difference between convince and tell? Uh, so convince someone someone is like persuasion slash deception. Mm -hmm. Telling somebody is to accurately tell someone what happened. Oh, okay. Uh, and then taste is for tasting things. Cool. And then you have the heart, which does drink, exert, and bolster. So drink is to uh, drink alcohols. Yes. Uh, Which my character has a plus six to. Jesus. <laughs> exert is to exert yourself over a long period of time. Uh, for yes. example, like if you're hanging off of a cliff or something, you would not use push slash pull slash lift. You use exert yourself to see if you can keep doing it for a long time. Yes. And bolster uh, gives you a plus, so it doesn't matter. I don't care. Yep. Um, this is not very well thought out. I think it is. Uh, and then you pick one from each category to be proficient in. Yes. Uh, and proficiency is plus two. Uh, like whatever that one game's called. Yes. Um, and so the one now, we play. What? The one we play. Yeah, that one. I forgot the name. It's not really important. Yeah. 
Anyway, so now you have cooking, which is the big part. Yes. Uh, although I know canonically, like they're, everyone that cooks monsters is supposed to be like a freak. Yeah. Uh, that's the core part of it. So cooking's a thing. In yes. This. Uh, it's the main thing, actually. Uh, so you have flavors. This is what food is made out of. Yes. And science has determined that there are four of them. The four flavors are salty, sweet, bitter, and savory. Uh, and you have a fl- fa- favorite one of those that is your favorite one. Yep. Um, and it's probably not bitter. Um, it's not. You're correct. Uh, so basically, uh, it, all of these things, there's flavors, favorite food and stuff. This will basically, when you make a food, you'll roll all of these and that will determine how much you like it. Nice. Um, so how you determine favorite flavors is that you give your favorite flavor a D8, uh, and then the next two down at, uh, a D6 and the one after that a D4. So basically, um, let's say your favorite food is salty and you make a salty food. It is. That's a little bit sweet or something like that. Then you add the, uh, the D8 or... Yeah, they're just the D8. And then, but if it's mainly sweet, you just add the D4. Nice. Uh, next, you have uh, your favorite food. Mm-hmm. Using this in your recipe, we'll just give you a uh, plus one D6. Basically, to choose from, you can modify this if you want to, is, uh, I mean, at home, not you, yeah. uh, is meat, fruit, vegetables, cheese, bread, mushroom, and seafood. I think I got all the major, like, foods that we see I think in so, the yeah. show. Yeah. Um, and so basically, incorporating some of this into your thing will make it taste better for you. Uh, and next, you have ingredients. Uh, you know, anything can be an ingredient, uh, but some of them are not very good. So when you forage, you basically, you roll a d20 to determine how it works. And this gives you a bonus. For example, for a natural 20, Ooh. that's a perfect ingredient. And it gives you a plus 1d20 and a plus 1d6. Nice. Uh, a 19 gives you just a plus 1d20. And then down the line, until you get to 1, which uh, tastes like ass, you yep. get uh, minus 1d6 to it. Um, and then you have the size of an ingredient. This is basically depicted by a grid in my thing, and it also determines uh, how large the meal is. So yes. a large ingredient is like a horse leg or something. I actually don't know how big that is. Yeah. But basically, a large ingredient is that. A small ingredient is like basically one fourth of a grid. The large ingredient would be like, like the whole basilisk or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was gonna say like the thing, but then I realized spoilers. Oh yeah. Uh, there's going to be spoilers. It's yeah. Fine. We're going to assume that you guys have watched this show. Yes. Uh, like, the dragon. Yeah. Well, the dragon would be much larger than that. That's but true. Uh, we're not going to encounter one, so yeah. I didn't bother making yeah. stuff for it. Uh, and then, so a small ingredient is like an egg or a tomato or whatever that takes up just like one-fourth of one-fourth, I guess one-eighth of the grid. And then a normal ingredient is like a chicken breast or whatever. Yeah. And so now this, you can also turn that and transpose or this. like a... Uh, Mandrake. I would say that's small. Small? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so then you transpose this over uh, a different grid. This is, I'm going to link this as a PDF in the description, so you can follow along at home if you'd like. Transpose this onto another grid that basically determines um, how large the meal itself is. So a snack is one square or less. For example, mm-hmm. if you eat, like, an egg, yeah, that's a snack. Um, if you eat a meal, that is two squares. Um... A feast is three squares, and a banquet is all squares. Mm. So a banquet is something that you probably would not be able to eat as one person, yes. or it would take you a long time, like a whole dragon or whatever. Yeah. Um, and these ingredients, like, it's uh, it's the, the rule of cool, basically, right? So yeah. it's like, technically, in this, a horse leg and a chicken breast would qualify as, like, a feast together. Yeah. Um, but you can also just put those, like, right next to each other, and it doesn't add that. A chicken leg does not add that much to it. Yeah. So we're not saying... So we would still say that's just a meal. Yeah. Um, so makes sense. Yeah. Rule, rule of cool. Or rule of... Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Rule of common sense. Uh, and then, so when you finish making your food, you know, the little thing pops up. And so you roll all the pertaining dice, and that determines uh, how good it is. Cool. I actually don't know, like... I should have figured this out, like, what the highest it, <laughs> that you could get is to mm-hmm. determine how good it is. But if it's a high number, we'll say that you like it. And if it's a low one, we'll yeah. say that you don't like it. Makes sense. Based off of our own intuition. And then there's magic. Uh, yes. Sorry, anybody who's not uh, into magic, you can add rules for that if you want. Yeah. Uh, but uh, our player here wanted to be a magic guy. Or whatever yes. Called. Uh, so everyone has some amount of mana. As far as I'm aware, I actually don't know if ogres, orcs, or kobolds have I magic. I think they do. I think they do, but it's, like, they're none of the main characters in the show, yeah. so we don't know. So I gave those average ones. It doesn't matter for our thing, though. Basically, so mana is essentially your spell slots uh, that you have, mm-hmm. and there's two types of magic that you can use. You can do elf magic or gnome magic. So I'm doing gnome magic. Yeah. 
but I'll say for posterity, uh, elf magic, you have the normal amount of mana. So let's go with Talmud. Talmud have uh, five mana. So uh, with elf magic, uh, a tall man would have uh, be able to cast five spells before mm -hmm. they have to um, rest up or you know yes. drink some undine or something like that. Yes. Uh, so that happens, and then you also get a plus one d4 to all spell rolls. Mm -hmm. I guess that's just going to be like a d20 or something. I'm sorry, didn't figure this out, but it's fine. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, this no, is all just for fun. No magic gives you times two the money you have. So for tall men, that you would give you ten, but you get a minus one d4 to all spell rolls yes. because it's slightly less precise. Um, then you have major spells and minor spells. Minor spells take one mana to cast. Uh, major spells take three. And failing to succeed in a spell causes an additional penalty of one mana. So basically, if you cast a minor spell and fail, you take two mana. Yes. Um, and so the spells that you... Hit, the list of spells, I went to the wiki and I found magic and just found all the ones that they've cast in the, the manga. Uh, and then you have the character sheet, but that's all the stuff we've, that we've covered. Yes. So this should be everything i think so uh uh so i guess we should uh get into it right yeah should uh, i introduce i was thinking like so this is not taking place in the dungeon but yeah. it will be in a dungeon yes but i assume you start outside of it right yeah do you live in like a little cottage or something yes okay why don't you describe uh like your house where you live um like uh, and then you can also describe your character in that little, that All right. little bit. Okay. So, so take the reins. Nice. So I'm back. All right. So we open on a little like round cottage. Um, and it's like kind of a thatched roof. Uh, and like, uh, like mud brick in it's kind of it, it's a small cottage um and there's a little smokestack uh with lots of lots of uh smoke pouring out of it um because inside and it always smells like some sort of sweet treat except sometimes it does smell a little more savory um, it always smells like wonderful food. So we, we go in and, uh, it's all kind of one room. Uh, there, it's two floors. Um, the first floor is kind of one room with, um, like a little hearth, um, with on one side, it's got like a countertop, uh, against the wall, a sink, um, and, like, an ice box. Um, there's some cold guys in there. Um, what? The fridge. It's a fridge. Yeah, what do you mean by cold guys? Like, a cold spell or something. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you can't say cold guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, cold guys. Um, <laughs> I can't get over cold guys. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Cold guys. Okay, go on. So, so um, and on the other side is like a little, uh, like a couch and a really squashy armchair. Uh -huh. Um, and there's a nice round rug. Um, it's really soft and well-worn. And then there's, like, a little spiral staircase um, closer to the door when you walk in. And upstairs is, like, well, I mean, you wouldn't know. We're not over there. Um, but uh, that's presumably where the bed is. Um, but we see at the kitchen. Um, oh, and there's also, like, a little wood fire stove. Um and the, like, chimney that goes with that kind of just connects to the fireplace. Um, and, uh, we see, uh, just, uh, kneading away at some bread is a little gnome. Um, her hair is, like, 
kind of soft whitish gray. Um, she's like, she's short even for a gnome. She's like three feet tall. Um, eh, three foot five or so. I don't know how tall gnomes are. Uh, 120 centimeters for a female gnome and 130 centimeters for a male gnome. I looked at the wiki. Um, and, which is, uh, like, 4.3 and 3.11 or something like that. Um, but, uh, she's got, like, soft, light, whitish gray hair, um, kind of big ears, uh, they're, like, badger-like, um, and her, she's got, like, a big round nose, uh, and, like, rosy red cheeks, um, she's humming to herself as she's just, like, she's also, like, stronger than you may think, um, she doesn't look it, um, but she's got big, big hands, um, and she's kneading the dough and just humming and looks really happy. Um, her name is Flora Beeswax. That's such a nice name. Yeah. (laughs) And she is, uh, and, oh, and you can see decorating her house right Uh now, um, there are, like, there's, like, a sewn banner, like, one of those, like, you know, uh, one of those banners that, like, goes around the house that's, like, triangles and the, like, triangles attached to another string and then the, on the triangle thing oh, is, yeah, like, letters. Is, yeah, yeah. And it says, um, happy birthday, uh, crap, what's, what? Why what are they never kid crap? No. <laughs> no. Um. You didn't think of this? No. Um. I'll think of it for you. No, I don't think of it. <laughs> Um, uh, and on the banner it says, happy birthday, Parker. Parker? I don't know. (laughs) Very Um, medieval name. Yeah, Parker was a, um, let's see, Sir Parker... Sir? er, No, Sir Parker, like, whatever last name, was a famous knight, uh, that, um... Uh, is known for his strength and courage, uh, and that's what, uh, Flora's, uh, uh Flora's daughter named- Dungeon Messy Nerds, can I huh? get a fact check on that? <laughs> is Sir Parker, is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. Can I get um, a fact check, please? Right now? <laughs> um. Live? No? Okay. Um. Never mind. Name, uh, n- named their son that, uh, and, I don't know, Parker is Flora's- um, Flora's grandson. What? Who is having his, uh... Yeah, how old is he? Uh... 400th birthday, he's... No, uh, they, uh, they reach maturity at 40. Okay. Um, so... That's cute. I don't know. 20th birthday. Okay, so he's like... Eh. Was that nine? Yeah. It'd be like ten. Yeah, So maybe... The younger... 15th birthday. 15th birthday. Yeah. Makes sense. He, and he is, and in human years, that'd be like eight. Okay. Um, he is having his 15th birthday. At, uh, (laughs) at her house. Um, she's a baker, um, that, and she sells, she sells her, um, sells her bread and her cakes, um, at her local market, Mm -hmm. um, on... Uh, Sundays and Tuesdays. Or, wait, this is Dungeon on, uh, 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 Magic Day and Melee Day. Yeah, there we go. Are there official days of the week in Dungeon Meshi? I don't Um, know. I don't know. Sunday makes sense. And Sunday and Mana Day. Mana Day? Get it? It's just Sunday and Monday. Yeah. Oh, Mana, that's funny. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, Mono Day. No. Oh, it's because one. No. No. Yeah. Um... But yeah, Sunday and Tuesday. Sunday and... You said can... Monday. I said Tuesday. Oh, you but... said Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. I thought you said... <laughs> I was like, wait. No. Monday is called Tuesday in this world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday, Monday. Um... Tuesday, Monday, 
Uh, okay, whatever. Day, I don't know. Lyos? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, nobody knows him. He's a freak. Famous character. Well. At this point. At this point in the timeline. Yeah. We are undetermined part of the timeline. Yeah. Uh, Maybe this is even in... The, the future. Or the, the past. Portrait. The portrait. The, you know, with yeah, the king. I know. And there's also a dog. Yes. Anyway. Um, but yeah, she's baking... Uh, and humming to herself. Okay. Um, what is she, what does she do other than bake? Like, at this moment, or? No, as in, like, maybe a thing that she can do with, uh, using spirits to harness them. Oh, yes, yes, she, uh, is also a magic user. What? Um. I didn't say you could do that. (laughs) What? I said you had to be a melee user. (laughs) But yeah, no, she's a, she's a melee, uh, not, not a melee user. That's right. Um, uh, she, she's, uh, a magic user. Nice. And, um, uh, she likes to, nowadays she mostly does, like, little light spells, um, Mm -hmm. and illusion spells to make, uh, make the kid, the village kid laugh, um, and, uh, you know... Make sure there's always a light on in her home, uh, for, for kids if they need somewhere to be. Um, she's kind of like, I mean, she obviously has her own grandson, but she's, she's very, um, she's very much like a village grandma. Um, and, uh, she used to, I mean, she's always been in the bakery business, but she used to, um do a little bit more magic back in the day Mm. but she still has um she still has her spells i see um okay uh okay should we do fun facts now sure now that we've introduced the character yeah uh okay give your you give a um have yeah yeah i don't know let's see um (laughs) okay yeah i was putting all my body weight onto my hand oh ow um, and, uh, so you, you wouldn't think that would hurt, but it did. Yeah, no, that hurts. Um, I don't know. Uh, she's, I feel like I gave a fun fact. No, you didn't. Introducing her was a fun fact. No, it's not. Um. Come on. We need to copy Dungeons I mean, we need to <laughs> stay true to our brand. <laughs> Um, hmm. Her. I don't. I don't know. Um. Now you know how I feel. She's been in the dungeon before. I see. Okay, that's nice. Now I do one. Yes. Uh, what should I do a fact about? Let me think. Um, What's your favorite episode of Dungeon Meshi? That's not what I was going to do my fact okay. about. I will say it, though. All right. I forget, actually. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, so unepisodic that I actually don't really know. Yeah. Oh, it's actually probably the Mimic episode, honestly. Ooh, the but Mimic But that's kind of basic. Good. Uh, or, not the Mimic ep- the, um, uh, whatever. You know, the Changeling or whatever. Yeah. No, not the Changeling. There's, like, three episodes where they get yeah. body swapped. Yeah. Or, or, the body swap episode, yeah. Yeah, but which one? I like the one where they actually switch bodies. Yes. I The one where there is extra people is also really good, and yeah. I, the one with the mimic is also pretty good. Anyway, yes. well, my actual fun fact is going to be, because uh, I did, like, a creepy fun fact last time oh. about, like, an animal, and so I'm trying to think of a creepy animal fact that I know. Oh. Um, I did a bat one last time. What um, episode are you talking about? What? Because there are several that it could have been. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the last Halloween one. Oh. I did my creepy bat fact, and we played. But I don't know any other creepy things. Mm. Uh, I you absolutely know creepy things. Yeah, but they're like Halloween stuff. Yeah. What are Halloween animals? You have black cats, bats, bats toads, pumpkins. Pumpkins. The, those aren't animals. Uh, they can be if you think about it. Uh, eyeballs. Um, Venus vampires. Fly traps. Mm. Yeah, vampires. Um. Uh, what else? Snakes. Yes. Uh, owls. Do I know any creepy owl facts? What other animals are there? Uh. Hmm. Like brains and jars. What's your favorite like dungeon meshy animal? 
No, I'm trying to do from the one that I, I did last time. I will say that though. Uh, I don't actually. I actually don't know. Oh no! Wait, I like the um the sky fish that Marcel makes. Oh yes. I know that's not an animal. Whatever. No, what is the fact I was gonna do? I had one. Oh, sorry. Um. Uh. Uh. uh no, I'm losing. I know nothing. <laughs> um, my brain is quickly. It's. I can't remember anything. No. Uh. How about this? Devils are Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. Creepy Tasmanian devil fact. Mm. And then play that song. The da -da 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 and then play the Tasmanian devil sound over it. Uh, Tasmanian devils have contagious cancer. What? Yes. Really? Yeah, that's why they're going extinct. Oh, jeez, I didn't know they were Because they have going a form extinct. of cancer that is contagious. Oh, my God. Yeah, so do dogs. I knew that. Um, and it's technically... Yeah, an in, individual dog. Yes. They have DNA tested it. I think yes. same with the uh, Tasmanian Devil one. Hmm. I forget what it's called for Tasmanian Devils, though. Look it up. Jamie, pull that up. Sure. Ow. <laughs> I leaned over and my hip cracked. We should get a Jamie. Yeah. We use them, like, once per every ten episodes. Yeah. Kami, pull that up. Oh, jeez. Oh. What was it called? I don't know. I was on the pictures tab. And... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty gnarly, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. It's called Devil Facial Tumor Disease. Okay, sorry. DFTD. DFTD. It's called DFTD. Yes. D DFTD. So that was my um thing. Uh, so there's transmissible cancer. Ooh, yeah. be scared. It Ooh. probably can affect human. They can't. Yep. It's, and also, it's like literally uh, like once one in like a couple billion. It's only ever happened in two animals. Really? Dogs and. Oh, yeah. As far as I'm aware. Uh, I think so, yeah. For it to happen, what had to happen for the dog is at least. The dog would happen because it's a STD. Yes. So what happened is that the dog. Anyway, the dog had, like, uh, testicular cancer, yeah. and then, uh, you know, did the, you know, what an animal's gotta do. Yeah. Uh, and it transmitted to the other animal that it was doing yeah. it with. And, so, yeah, so now that dog is the oldest dog that's ever existed. Yep. <laughs> Which is wild. It's wild. But this isn't about the, this is about Tasmanian devils. Yes. Uh, so that's also probably the oldest Tasmanian devil that's ever existed. Yep. Anyway, so that was that. I also think it's not called Tasmania anymore. Yes, it is. It is? I believe so. I'm doing so much Googling. Yeah. We haven't played yet. Yeah. How many hours have we been? Four. Jeez. No, obviously. It's been 43 minutes. Wait, what was I Googling? If Tasmania is still called Tasmania. <laughs> it's loading. That's awesome. Yeah, no, it's still called Tasmania. Awesome. That was a fun distraction, though. Yeah. Alright, so that was my fun fact. Now I swear we can... to God that there's another meat. Anyway. Anyway, now we can play, I guess. So, you're kneading your bread. Yes. Uh, when suddenly you realize that you're not kneading your bread. I mean, you are, but it's a very small amount, and you don't have any other stuff. Oh, no. Are you going to oh, do dear. an old lady voice? Oh, uh, I'm... Oh, that's that's <laughs> your... What, whatever his name is. What? The, uh... the, the podcast bro. No. The I'm sad part... guy? The sad guy. Huh? The, the Joe Rogan or something? Jamie? Huh? What are you talking about? The, the... Oh, you mean Jordan Peterson? Yes, no, Jordan... No, Jor Jordan Peterson's like Kermit. Yes, <laughs> that guy. You realize that you don't have any ingredients, which is to say that there's nothing to be made. <laughs> no. <laughs> no ingredients, which is... Are we gonna play? To say analogously is, uh... And an analog to the experience that one oh uh, featuring religious devotion may experience when that is unceremoniously ripped Should away I do from a them. Little sweetie voice like this? No. Yeah. I was no. thinking like you could do like a old grandma voice, like hi, I'm an old grandma. I'm oh, also like Irish. This. You could do whatever voice you want. Anyway. Oh you dear. You realize that there's not much ingredients left. All the guys in your icebox were like, hey, there's nothing here. <laughs> we're made out of semen, by the way, canonically. <laughs> look that up. What? Uh, the fairies in. Uh, Dungeon Meshi are made out of semen. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Huh. Huh. Uh, anyway, so you have no ingredients. Oh, dear. And what day is it hmm? of the week? 
it's Saturday, which means the markets are closed. Oh, no. And you're, uh, I'm making executive decision. Your grandson's birthday is in, like, two days. Yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, dear. But you need the ingredients now, because stuff takes a long time to bake. Yes. You have to bake a lot of stuff. I must... Oh, dear. If I don't get this in, these ingredients now, I will never... I, I will not be able to make him his favorite food. Which is? Um... Pineapple upside down cake. Pineapple upside down, yeah. In the toilet, I make a brown, yeah. What? <laughs> huh? Nothing. I'm sorry, no, you can't say that no. and then say nothing. Okay, so... <laughs> um... You head out to... No, 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 no! What are you talking about? No, it's fine. So, you head out... Stop laughing, it's not funny. So, you head out to the little village near you, um, and I get you, tr- you go to every market, but it, all of them are empty. Yes. Until you find yourself sad and afraid. Uh, oh, no. Uh, I guess not afraid. You find yourself at the entrance of the dungeon. Well, a dungeon, yes. but it's your town's the dungeon. Yes. Uh, but it's not the dungeon from the show, just yes. so you guys know. It's a dungeon from uh, our show. Yep. <laughs> um, and you see it. Uh, it's recently been incorporated, following the tradition of the dungeon, it's been recently incorporated into like the town proper, and so there's like, the little trading post area yes. stuff. And that, you know, is sometimes active with uh, people that are bringing their wares from deeper in the dungeon or coming to trade outside of it. Um, but you'll probably find weirder stuff. Yes. Uh, your character, you right, you said you were familiar with the dungeon? Yes, I've been in the dungeon before. Do you think you were ever, like, you know, like, hired to be, like, a adventurer or anything? I think maybe. Like, just, like, a couple of times in your yeah. youth? Okay. So, yeah, so you're familiar with the dungeon, and it's, like, older times. It, it's, you know, it's grown a little bit. Yeah, it's a dungeon. Yes. Um, but you, you can go down there if you want. Yes. Or you have to, because I'm saying you have yep. to. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. I think... Oh boy. I think this seems to be my only choice. All right. All right, Flora. You've, you've been, you've been here before. Let's go. And she kind of does like a little... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what stuff do you have on you? Um, I think I have like my little grandma bag, um, and in that, like a, you know, like a carpet bag. Yes. Um, and in that, I got some cooking stuff because I always bring, I always bring some cooking things. Mm. I probably have like a little knife, um, because, you know, you gotta you gotta chop things up. True. Um. Uh, what do you use to cast magic? Do you have like a staff or anything? Um. Yeah. I have. I think I have some like knitting needles. Oh, that's cute. I don't and know I if that's have... how this works in this world, but we'll say it is because yeah. it's fun and cute. Well, I, I turn, let's say I turn my staff into, like, a knitting needle. Need, knitting needles. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think stuff Whatever. Grows. You can have two knitting needles or you can have a staff. I'll have a staff. Okay. It, that's easier. That's yeah, that's nice. more accurate. To, yeah. That's more show accurate. Yeah, lore accurate. Yes. Lore accurate grandma from Better Yeah. I, I have a staff. Okay. Uh, so, I guess you venture down to the dungeon. Yes. Uh, it's full of a lot of, uh, like, young people, uh, youngins. Uh, yeah, that have been, uh, like, they're not really part of the town's community very much, they're, they're, like, mainly there to, uh, stay in, like, the caverns and go exploring and stuff. Have any of these guys, do I, do I recognize anybody who has come to my house for a meal on a, on a cold, rainy night or something? Because, no. okay. Uh, these people, like... Your town's economy, like most towns in Dungeon Machine, yes. as far as I remember, are based off of, like, the dungeon. Yes. And so these people um, aren't, like, really part of the town's community. They're just there for the dungeon. Mm. Uh, the people that you, like, bring in are, like, local people. Okay. That, like, know you. But these people wouldn't really know you or, like, really anyone in the town. Okay. Um, and they are sort of, uh, like, lounging about in this little, like, lounge area. What's it called? Like, base camp? Um, yes, base camp. From, like, uh, Mount Everest. Yes. Um, and there's a lot of drinking, music, um, there's some people, like, trading some stuff. Um, yes. mostly you see, like, some townsfolk that are, um, like, townsfolk that are, like, always consistently selling stuff, or mm-hmm. selling stuff, like, now, we, because the market's closed, they're selling it now. But you see that most of the stuff being sold isn't, uh, like, proper ingredients for anything you need to make. Yes. Oh, boy. I think... 
Hmm. I think sh she's just going to... She's going to walk around looking looking at wares. Um, and try and see if she can find... Uh, she's... I'm going to say she's out of uh, pineapple. Um, or doesn't have any. Or something. Okay. Um, and also... Well, let's say, Wait, what are you all out of, let's say? Okay, so I'm out of pineapple. Okay. I'm out of... Upside down. Uh, yeah, I'm out of upside down. No. Um, actually, yeah, pineapple upside down cake uh, in this in Dungeon Mushy needs a little bit of... Upside down. Yeah, I, like, there's a there's a creature that uh, helps with the upside down part. Mm. Like, helps it be extra I don't know sticky. If that's more accurate. Helps it be extra sticky so it can stick I like that when you drive upside down. Or yeah. cool upside down. Yeah. It's called milk. Yeah. <laughs> that no. From a normal animal. Yeah. No. Milk from a golem. From a golem gross. Yeah. No. From um, a minotaur. No. No. Uh, something. It's some random plant probably. Because yeah. uh as established in the show nobody likes to eat anything that yeah. comes from monsters. Yes. So it's one of the less like unsightly yeah. monsters, I guess. Yes. Like a big crab or something. I don't yes. know. Whatever. Something that produces milk. Or something. Yes. Maybe it's like a type of like spider or something that makes yeah. something of that sort. Anyway, so you were looking for that in the pineapple stuff. Yes. Okay. Um so yes, you see people, you know, lounging around, uh, trading, etc. But you don't really see anything that you're after. Hmm. Um, on first glance, if you would like, you can go ask around some of the adventurers and see yeah. what they're doing. But yeah, I'll go do that. Okay, so who are you gonna ask for? Let's say there's uh, about ten adventuring parties of varying like shapes and sizes. Oops. Um, there are some of them, let's say, like, there are some of them that look, um, like they're, like they have fresh gear and stuff, they look like they're about to just go down. Mm -hmm. There's people that look like they're, like, coming back, and there's some people that look like they're coming back from, like, really deep. I think I'm gonna ask, uh, the people who are coming back from, uh, really deep, because they've seen more layers. Okay. Yeah, so let's say there's two parties like that that you can see. One of them has, uh, is a party of, like, only humans. Mm-hmm. And they all look like vaguely similar, like they're all from the same like area or something. Like they all they've traveled for really, really for a long time. This is not one united by like money, but it's like yes. friendship or whatever. Um, and, How lovely. And they're talking, and then you see a group, a more diverse group. Um, and diversity wins. Diversity wins, and they look like they uh, just got like blown up or something. All right. Hmm. But they both look pretty ragged. Uh, I'm going to go up to the group that looks like they're blown up because I have some healing magic okay. I can offer for yeah. some. They're all healed, but they just have, like, um, like ash all over them, basically. Mm. Uh, it's not, like, a recent blow-up. It looks like the, it like it's washed off, but okay. their stuff is all tattered or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of shuffle over to them. I'm, I'm pretty fit, but I'm still, you I'm know. Lady. Yeah. I'm, well, how old are you? How old do dwarves get? Uh, they or, live to uh, be... Gnomes like 240 okay. um so i'm probably like 175 or eh, I would, like probably 200 yeah probably yeah probably about 200 i've got another 40 years left yeah <laughs> ah jeez. yeah that's like what 20 years in human yeah that makes sense yeah anyway um i'd be like 60 yeah ish yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so uh, you see this group is composed of, let's say, a uh, half foot, uh, two dwarves, and a human. Okay. Hello, dears. <clears throat> uh, so the half foot uh, speaks. Did I say there was two half foot? There's just one. I guess I said two. I think so. So there's two half foots, two dwarves, and one human. Okay. So the half foot, it's a, uh, a boy half foot. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't say a man because yeah, yeah. It's because half foot look like that. No. Yes. Uh, it's a uh, like a tall man half foot, but not tall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, not tall really, but taller than you. Yes. He goes like, "What do you want?" Oh, I was just wondering. Um, would you happen to know if there are any, if there's anything either pineapple or something very akin to pineapple, and something to help, you know, with ingredient binding. 
uh, one of the dwarfs goes like, what the hell's a pineapple? Understandable. Uh, well, okay. So a pineapple is a type of fruit, mm -hmm. and it grows from a uh, bromeliad. Um. <laughs> bromeliad. A bromeliad. No. Um. It, it grows from a bromeliad, which is a type of plant that is pretty spiky and large, um, and it has a quite unique taste. Hmm. Um. This is weird trying to describe because I have not had pineapple in recent memory. Um, but yes. Um, okay, so the human looks like to be like their uh, magic user of the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, as you're talking, is like flipping through a, like a, a like a potions book, let's mm -hmm. say. And they flip through it, and they uh, are like, is this similar to what you want? And they push forward into your face, kind of. Uh, a little bit too close, you have to like push it back. Uh, a, what it looks oh, like. I, I can see better than that. Yeah. Uh, uh, is, uh, it looks like an illustration of something vaguely pineapple-like. Um, coming out of what seems to be, uh, would you say a bromeliad? Yes. I like, is that how you say it? I, I usually say bromeliad. Me too. I was just wondering if that it, was... It's technically pronounced bromeliad. Really? I like yeah, bromeliad. Anyway, too. a bromeliad. I like that. It sounds British. Yeah. Bromeliad. It's like, a uh, aluminium. Aluminium. Aluminium is like, what? That's not bromeliad. what... Bromeliad. You can't aluminium. say aluminium. It makes it seem like it's like a real metal and not yeah. one of those, like, fake poser gay metals. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even spelled that way. It's spelled aluminum. No, it is spelled aluminium. Aluminium. I think... No, it is. I, I, there may be two. No, it's definitely spelled that way. There may be two spellings. No, it's A L U Aluminium. It is. Aluminum, okay. aluminium. Should I Google it? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so it seems to be something like a, um, uh, like a pineapple growing out of a, like, bromeliad that is, like, you know, like, your standard, like, carnivorous plant that you would find in the dungeon yes. type of thing. It's, like, very big, sort of, like, saw-shaped teeth. And the illustration shows, like, a, uh, a half-foot, like, drowning in it. That's very large. <laughs> Jeez. Um, and, uh, he's like, is this, uh, what you're looking for? Um, yes, I, I, this looks close enough. Okay. Um. Have you tasted it? I haven't. Um, but, and then the, uh, let's say there's a girl half foot, she cuts in, and she's like, we saw one, uh, lower down in the dungeon. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the dwarf is like, yeah, we saw it on, uh, the third floor, and he's like, yeah, it was really big, really, 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 really big. Uh, and I almost fell in, I almost died, but I didn't. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure not to do that. Are you okay, dear? Yeah. Wonderful, you, you must remember to... You're not my f fucking mom. Oh. Oh. Yes, you're... I mean, you're correct. I'm not. But... Language. <laughs> Whatever. Well, thank you for your help. Do you... Do you folks need any... Anything? You all look like such sweet dears. Nope, besides, uh... Getting... I do an Irish accent. Besides getting a little wee bit blown up, we're fine. Oh, well. I hope you enjoy this town. If you ever need anything, I am the little thatched cottage. Okay, cool lady. Yes, and she smiles at them all and waves and goes to the other group as well. Have a nice day. Alright, the next group you're going to? Yes. So this is the one where it's, let's say, three humans. Yes. They all look pretty similar. Probably not enough to be brothers, but they're definitely of, like, the same stock, the same village. Hello, dears. I'm gonna think of a voice. Hello. Have you, by chance, you, I mean, you've been down in the dungeons. Indeed we have. Have you, did you find any of, uh, did you find any ingredients that may 
be used in baking, by chance. Uh, another you know, leavening one, ingredients. Uh, another one cuts in. Was like, we weren't really paying attention for that. Sorry, we're uh, gold expeditioners. Oh. Well, did you find any gold? No. Oh. This is a pretty shitty dungeon. Oh. I, I, I've been down there. I don't. I. I didn't. I don't believe it is. You know. When's the last time you went down there? It looks pretty pick clean. Well. She's thinking. About. 90-some odd years ago. Makes sense. Maybe a hundred. I said dungeons go through phases. Yes. Hopefully this one... Hopefully this one gives me some... Good food. Food? <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? You must be off your rock, lady. Oh, I... I do have... An interesting story about a rocking chair I could give you. What do you mean, eating food from the dungeon. You've never done that? Of course not. We have rations. Yes, but your rations ne have never run out. Well, that's why we're back here. Ah. Uh, well. And she kind of just shakes her head, smiling. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, dungeon food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I lost my train of thought. No. Um. Fuck, what was I saying? Shit. Oh no. Um. Sorry, I started thinking about food. Um. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Oh my god. Um. This is why you can't watch this show without yeah, having real. something to eat. So, you've talked to everybody that has been deep into the dungeon. There's a few yes. more parties about to head out, or just, like, from shallower layers, if you want to talk to them, or you could continue on your way. Um, I think I'll continue on my way, because I've got... I don't know, I think... I think in the back of her mind, she was preparing to maybe have to head down, right. at least into the market area of the dungeon. I see. Um, so she's like, eh, might as well. So, you're going to try to go a little bit deeper into the dungeon? Yes. Um, all right. Um, floor three. Yes, it? Yeah. floor three. Um, so right now it's about, uh, it's, it's early noon, around like 11, mm -hmm. uh, when you set off. All right. So you, uh, you're, you're not hungry yet because I assume you had breakfast and stuff. Oh, of course. Yeah. You're not hungry yet, uh, for lunch. Uh, so, uh, I guess you, you set off. Yes. I'm just going to... I'm just heading into the dungeon, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. into the dungeon I go. All right. So, um, you enter into, uh, <laughs> floor one of the dungeon. So, uh, every now and then, little pockets of light from the surface, uh, reach in. Uh, up above this dungeon, it goes pretty, like, uh, vertically out before it starts to go down. So up above this dungeon is, like, grazing field. Mm -hmm. And, um, it sometimes, uh, like, sometimes the floor is occasionally just, like, dirt held together by roots. And so you see the occasional, like, cow skeleton or whatever. Sometimes farmers lose livestock because they fall down. Yeah. Um, but so Makes there's sense. some, like, moss and mushrooms growing. Um, but it's not, uh, very dark at all down here. Ooh, mushrooms. Hmm. She likes to add these to her, uh more savory dishes sometimes so I see I think I think she's gonna just inspect them to see if she can pick some inspect them all right okay first roll first roll so I guess this would be give me a um Will this be no yeah give me or well, a look I'll say give me a brain look one because you would know your mushrooms pretty well yeah and this is this is still a d20 right uh yes okay and then plus my look roll. Yes. Okay. Ooh, that's a six, but plus seven to six make. Thirteen. Yes. <sighs> so the light's pretty dim, and dwarves or gnomes uh, famously have bad eyesight. Yes. So you can't tell. Um, 
Hmm. Better not. If these are, yeah, safe to eat or if they are unsafe to eat. Oh dear, I am rusty, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. Um, well. with your 13, though, out of the corner of your eye, you do see hmm. something slightly shuffling out of the way. Hmm. Hello? Uh, you don't hear a sound, but you turn your head and you see, uh, almost like comically shuffling away from you as you inspect the mushrooms, you see a walking mushroom. <gasps> And it's sort of, like, backing away, like, I don't want any trouble, lady. Oh. Um, and you can identify as a walking mushroom, and you know that those are non-toxic. Oh, I haven't had walking mushroom in, oh, what is it, 60 years? Uh, come here. And she's gonna kind of hold, yeah, like she's chasing like, chasing after, yeah, like, a chicken. Yeah, and she's got her hands out stretched for it. All right, um... It begins running. Yeah. Uh, she's going to try and run. Okay. So why don't you roll a muscle run roll? Cool. <laughs> Six. Three yes. plus three. Three plus three, six. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see how the mushroom goes. All right. So the mushroom gets a 19. Hmm. <laughs> and so it easily... Evades, evades you. Yeah. So you continue running after it for a while, and you notice that as you're running, the ground begins to sort of go down, and uh, you're still on floor one, of course, mm -hmm. but it's starting to get a little bit darker, and then the mushroom uh, darts into some like unseen crevice and squeezes itself through. Yeah. Oh dear. You are now uh, deeper down into the realm of uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, in the dungeon. Glowing mushrooms and stuff. Ooh. Um, and by now, uh, I guess you wouldn't have a watch or anything, but your stomach is starting to rumble from mm. uh, lunch. Oh, I'm... I suppose I should, you know, break out the... break out the old knife and stuff, and I take out my cutting board and knife. Okay, and I, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, Walk. make some... Can food. you roll me an exert roll? Sure. What? Uh, exert uh, 9 plus 4 Jeez. Another 13 Okay, so you are Wait, a 13? A... Nice try sure. I think we discovered that tables make things worse Yeah um, Okay, so with your 13 Okay so, um, you begin to, uh, set up your, like, I guess your tray or whatever, mm -hmm. your tray, you begin to, like, strike up a fire and stuff, Yeah. but you are still very tired from your run, and you're panting a lot. Yes. You notice too late something from above. Oh, no. Um, so, okay, I can't, I don't want to make you roll so much stuff. Can you roll me a, I don't know what this would be, I guess a, a sneak roll? Sure. Ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, on your face, mm. a uh, you suddenly can see even worse than before. Oh. Uh, and your oh my. vision is tinged green, and you can't say oh my because your voice is stuck. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, over your face, you can tell. Well, why don't you roll me no? A lot of rolls in this. Seven. Seven. Two plus five. Two plus five. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, you know something is covering your face. I'm gonna try and just claw it off. Okay, give me a hands grab roll. <laughs> All right. A lot of rolling in this. If you yeah. hadn't noticed, more than D and D. Gonna use a different. Ooh. Okay. Grab. Yes. Um. 16. A 16. Okay, that's pretty good. Yes. Um, Got big hands. Yeah, you do. So you manage to um, claw at your face enough, and you, um, as you're clawing at your head, you um, grab something inside of this, I don't know, mucus balloon. Yep. Uh, and you get something, that was me, something uh, gives way. Like, it's like a... Um, I don't know how to describe it. Like a, a patch of, like, 
uh, some, like, like if it's like normal blood and there's like a small little patch of clotted blood, mm. you basically grab through that and it, um, you squeeze it as tight as you can and sort of like slime between your fingers, it like pops in your hand mm. like an Orbi. Yeah. Um, and the thing, uh, It's like if you've ever held slime and a little bit is dry. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And a, uh, and the thing, uh, sort of loses hold and, uh, melts off your face and falls, uh, directly into your pot. Because I guess you were, like, over it. Yeah. Uh, and you, uh, cough up a little bit of, uh, green goo, but you are, <coughs> uh, unharmed now. And the thing lies dead in your pot. Hmm. Or your pan oh. or whatever you had. And, I mean, it's not too much of a jump to this is a slime. Yeah. Uh. Huh. Well. You you gave me quite a fright. Huh. Now, I guess. Eh. Do you think I would have tried slime before? Probably not. You can roll a taste if you want to taste it. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna just, like, take a little bit and put it in my mouth. Nine. A nine? All right. What are your flavor profiles? So salty is my D8. Yes. And then sweet and savory D6, bitter D4. D4, okay. So with a nine... Flavor food vegetables. Okay. So this is very unvegetable-like indeed. Yes. Uh, maybe not, actually. It's kind of like the inside of a tomato, but whatever. Oh, okay. um, so you um, taste it, and it tastes... Uh, like uh, some sort of unripe thing. Hmm. Uh, it's a little bit bitter in your mouth, Ugh. and it's like a uh, very bitter jello or jelly Ooh. with a uh, the slightest hint of savoriness over it, but it is mostly bitter. Um, with your cooking skill, you can determine that it could probably be perhaps refined into something that would taste better, but it would take mm. a long time. It's, uh, unless you like better things or are willing to go through with it, it is a, uh, it's essentially inedible in its current state. Yeah. But, perhaps if I cooked it, it may, the f taste may change. Mm. Or not enough to be worth it. Not enough to be worth it, unless you want to fight through the bitterness. No, thanks. So, I'm going to kind of dump it out of my pot. Uh, and kind of just toss it mm -hmm. a little further away. I'm like, yeah. you sort of kick the slime ball yeah. away from you, yeah. and it lands in a shadowy corner. Yeah. No, thank you. I will see if these mushrooms can be picked. Okay, yeah. So the walls are covered in a sort of glowing slime, and mushrooms are coming out of them. Mm. Um, uh, some of the very deepest penetrating roots of plants from above are, like, at the... Uh, ceiling. Perhaps mm. if you threw something, or you could get like a step stool or something, you could probably reach those. But immediately available to you is the the weird slime and the mushrooms. All right, uh, I'm gonna see if there's any mushrooms worth picking. Okay, why don't you roll me a look? Oh, well, uh, let's do a no because okay. you can see these all very well, but you would have to know that they were good. Mm. Seven plus five. Twelve. A twelve. Yes. All right. Um, most of these mushrooms seem to be uh, like the woody type that you find mm. uh, growing on trees, like shelf mushrooms. Yes. But sort of closer to where like the wall meets the floor. Uh, it's sort of like a squarish cave. Um, you find a crop of mushrooms growing from under a couple of like wet stones that are being dripped on. They give off sort of a, a pale red glow. And um, you remember hearing sometime in your very early childhood uh, a sort of a nursery rhyme that went like, <laughs> red mushrooms with the red glow, uh, good to go, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it, it was sort of like a mnemonic to remember something that you could perhaps use in a survival situation yes. and that they taste very good. Oh, wonderful. I will definitely take some of these red caps and I pick them. And yeah. I chop them up, and I put them in the pot. Okay. Uh, well, do you have water? I'd think so. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, fine. Okay, so you should... You, you've gathered the mushrooms, but you should find a source of water. Yes. Um, if you want to roll a... I guess it would be kind of a look. Maybe I should change look to perceive. All right. But, yeah, a, a look roll. 
15 plus 7. Oh, wow. Okay. 22. You can't see much um, beyond... You see that uh, beyond this, like, sort of tunnel, the cave opens up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You can't see anything, but your your large (laughs) gnome ears, you can hear uh, the sound of running water. (gasps) Um, Wonderful. And if you track it, you can find a, um, what looks like a installed, like, tap uh, that's sort of breaking into a little bit of stream water, or spring water. Nice. And creating a a small little stream. It's clearly very old, but the water um, seems safe to drink. It's from a spring. Yeah. Oh, nice. And I'm going to fill up the pot um, and probably just get a drink, uh, Mm -hmm. wash off my face from the slime. Yeah. Uh, yes, the water is uh, nice and cool, and it tastes like nothing. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> I was like, oh god, no. It tastes sweet. Yeah, it tastes, I mean, it probably tastes like cave water. It tastes like lead. Oh no. Uh, it tastes like cave water, probably. It tastes like, it, well, it's from spring, okay. so it tastes like nothing. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go back and, you yeah. know. So you go back, um... Let's say you've started a fire, so you put yes. your water on and start to boil. You, uh, you give me your, your cooking monologue. All right. uh, wait, what are the ingredients you have on you besides um, the mushrooms? I probably have, like, some, like, baby carrots for snack, um, which in this world are just young carrots, um, because yeah. baby carrots don't exist. Well, it could. It's That's just true. a cut up carrot. That's true. Um, uh, got some, like, baby carrots and. Uh, like a little bit of broccoli. Mm-hmm. Um, she likes vegetables. Mm-hmm. Probably also just has some bread. I see with oh. her. Okay, yeah. Okay, Can so like a... with those, uh, give your uh, your cooking your cooking tutorial. Yeah. All right. Uh, cue music. Is there music? A little bit. Okay. Uh, like just some like light, fluffy music. Sure. All right. Chop up the mushrooms. Uh, make sure that you separate the cap, the mushroom cap from the stem, and slice the stem into. Uh... Fuck no! Uh, <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! Okay. You can do it. Slice the stem into spears. Put the spears or er, spear the carrots as well, and then in the pot with the water, uh, toss the mushroom caps and the broccoli in together to steam. Cover and wait, and while you are waiting, slice up your bread into sandwich slices. Have a snack, have a little bit of a snack with the carrots until the, and wait until mushrooms and broccoli are steamed. Drain the water and place, I also probably have like a little bit of oil. Okay. Yeah. Uh, place in the pot the speared carrots and mushroom stems with a little bit of olive oil. Stir, stir until uh, sautéed, and then together with the steamed caps and broccoli, um, place in a bowl and um, mix. Like, you know, yeah. yeah, place in a bowl and mix with your sliced bread. Put that, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, like, think, because this sounds really bland. Whoa, wait, we'll get to that. Okay, so, uh, you, as hmm. you're doing this, you hear yeah. something. Hello? It's sort of a, <laughs> <laughs> you hear a sort of a, uh, squelching, slurping noise coming from the corner where you threw the slime. Oh dear. Not you again. It's not alive, but you see um, a couple of somethings. Mm. They're sort of tube, uh, cucumber-shaped, hmm. incised uh, organisms that have arrived to eat this little slime and are busily uh, slurping it up. Oh. Uh, let's say this is happening while your vegetables are, like, boiling. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you? And I'm gonna just walk kind of yeah. closer. So you walk over and you get down on their level, and you can see that they are uh, like dark green, uh, almost wholly dark green organisms. I'm literally imagining cucumbers with mouths. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. 
and they are sort of injecting a like mouth apparatus into mm. the slime and sort of like sucking on it from like the inside. Hmm. Um, they move like very slowly and they're pretty rotund and they and they kind of half squirm, half like inch their way around. Hmm. Uh, and there are about uh, four of them currently eating this slime. I'm gonna try and pick them up. Okay, yeah, you can pick them up, uh, and they like go like with their little tentacles. Um, but they retract them into their body. What are you? And it sort of starts to, it, like, sort of, uh, like, not curls itself up, but it, like, you know, how, like, worms can, like, do yeah. that. They, it sort of, like, tightens its body. Hmm. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna look at the water. The water? Like, the boiling water. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna look at it and then the water and then we just cut back to the monologue yeah <laughs> Trapa, <please>. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh chop up the cucumber worms <laughs> um, make sure make sure to keep the proboscis separate um because you don't know where that's been um yeah remove the digestive system yeah re- uh slice uh slice laterally and <laughs> remove uh, remove the uh, remove the guts along with the proboscis. Now, fillet. Uh, fillet. I don't know. You're making a soup. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, chop up. Yeah, chop up the cucumber worms and mix them in with the mix them in with the sautéing. Uh, mushroom stems and carrots now once everything is tender and golden brown uh take them out and uh, remove from the heat and put in the bowl along with your mushroom caps and broccoli now spread on uh spread on a little bit of olive oil on the bread and take some of your vegetable mix mm-hmm. and place on the bread. Uh, cue the yeah, yeah the ta-da noise. Yeah. Um, I can't read that. I can't read Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> and then the caption yeah, says, what's the name? "Um, fuck." Uh, <laughs> Cucumber worm, cucumber worm blend with side of toast. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and then you take out your salt shaker that you carry with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fun K fact: I do carry a salt shaker with me everywhere I go. It's awesome. Yeah. It saved me a far a fair few times. Yeah. From bland fu- food. Yeah. Well, it's better than salt packets. Yeah. Which I also used to carry around until. Um, my pockets got so covered in salt oh, that uh, when I had hangnails and I would put my hands in my pockets, it would burn. Um, That's awful. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what are your favorite... Oh, I forgot to roll. I like salty. Salty is your favorite flavor? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And then okay. sweet, savory, and bitter. And then sweet, and savory, and bitter. Okay. So, um, I would say it's more salty and savory. So I guess we got to add all the stuff together. Yes. So your favorite food is vegetables. Yes. Uh, here, do you, do you want me to keep track of this or do you want to? Um. You do it. Okay. So it's salty and savory? Salty and savory, yeah. So you add your salty and savory bonuses. Which are D8 and D6. Mm-hmm. Okay. The mushrooms. Because I... these are foraging, right? What? I foraged for these. Mm-hmm. So. The mushroom ingredient quality is uh, a plus D12. Mm-hmm. And the cucumber worm ingredient quality is a plus D8. Okay, give me a sec. Okay. D12 and then plus D8. Mm-hmm. D8s are pyramid ass to ass, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do I add a D20 or no? Uh, no. Okay. And then you add, and then, okay, so wait, what do you have? You have your two flavors that you like. Mm-hmm. Do you have your favorite food in it? 
vegetables, yes. Okay. Did, I mean, is that the bonus? Have you added that bonus yet? Um. How many die do you have with you right now? Four. Four. Okay. Wait. So that would be two favorite. Yeah. I have okay. the. So you need to add. Uh, then you need to add a d6 for your favorite ingredient. Okay. All right. Actually, no, because it's vegetable. Uh, sure, I'll give it to you. Cool. This look good. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now roll them all together and add it all up and see what you get. That's fun. Okay. I don't know how high you can possibly get. So we'll off see. of these, I'm not sure. Oh, and we need ingredient. So this is probably. This is definitely a, a snack. Okay. I was originally going to call snack lunch, and then I switched some stuff around, so this mm -hmm. makes sense. This is the, the size that it should be. Maybe I'll... 26. A 26. And what is the highest possible you can get? Wait, what do you have? You have a D6. Yeah. Okay, I can just do that. Math. Yeah, see the highest possible you can get. Okay. Grab my calculator. Shambler. So what? That's twelve plus six plus six plus eight plus eight. Forty. Forty. What'd you get? <laughs> Twenty-six. So you got We can do percentage. Okay, sure do it. Um That's a sixty-five percent. Pretty darn good. Yeah. Uh, you like it well enough? Um, hmm. the... Not my best work, but yeah, could definitely it's be probably, worse. I mean, it's honestly really good. Yeah. Um, the cucumbers add a little something. They hmm. are, they are slightly bitter, hmm. which uh, pulls it down for you. Um, but uh, overall, they're it's it's pretty good. Yes. And it's nice and filling. Hmm. This is quite wonderful. I've. Oh, it's been many years since I've eaten dungeon food. Uh, oh, dungeon, dungeon food. The, the end. Yeah, no. <laughs> Birthday party forgotten. She just lives in the dungeon eating dungeon food now. Yeah. No. Well, she eat one meal and then she dies. Yeah. <laughs> dies from food poisoning. Yes. No. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um... I should definitely save some of this for my grandson. Wait. No. Yeah, no. I, I, yeah, I... I'm like, hmm, I should definitely think about making some of this for him at some point you still have let's say you have two spare cucumber worms mm -hmm. that you did not yes. uh, chop up and they're sort of wriggling around you can shove them in a bag if you want or yeah. you can uh, I think I'm gonna dispatch put them, them. Uh, yeah i think i'm gonna dispatch them yeah and then put yeah. them in my bag uh from killing the first two you know where to stab them so you just like uh, yeah basically like cut them down the middle but not like fully so there's still yeah. like one half but there's just like a big slit down the whole thing yep. so it's uh, it's dead yeah awesome now uh -huh. i'm putting it i'm putting everything back in my carpet bag i'm putting out my fire what's a carpet bag it, it's a bag made of a carpet is that a thing yes that's cool i've never heard of that um it's a it's a thing that used to be more popular uh in medieval during, times no during the yeah. great depression actually but it, oh, that's cool. It's a, it's a grandma thing. So a Hoover bag, as they would call it back then, probably. Yeah. It's called everything Hoover. We should yeah. do that. Biden, yeah. Biden blanket. Yeah. I mean, your car, you have that sticker. I do have that. I have a sticker in my car that says "I did that with Joe Biden." And whenever yeah. someone's riding the passenger seat and I get gas, yeah. I say, "Hey, will you please uh, open the glove compartment?" Or after you say, "Hey, guess how much this is?" Yeah, I say, "Guess how much this was," and then whoever is riding will be like, "I don't know." You know, eight hundred bajillion dollars, yeah. bajillion dollars. <laughs> and I'll say, "Will you open the glove compartment?" And they'll open it. In uh, it's such a small but very funny joke that people yeah. invariably invariably forget that it's a thing. Yeah. Because I've pulled this on Kay like three times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Kay is still like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, "Okay, do you need something?" <laughs> yeah. And then it probably won't work again. I don't know. But, I think it probably will. Eh, it you know, you know my attempt. You know my memory. I know, but you did bring it up. I know. So you do clearly remember it. Yeah. But whatever. Um, okay. So now, by now, it's uh, the afternoon. Yes. And it, your belly's full, and it's time to continue. Yes. I'm gonna walk down. I I think I'm gonna leave this floor. Okay. And just head down. Yeah. So you pass a few adventuring parties on the way down. Oh, hello, dears. Hi. 
Having uh, fun in the dungeon? And yeah. then I just keep walking. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> yeah. So you continue walking um, until you reach... What? I'm... I repeated what you said um, in my head and then mouthed walking. Because <laughs> it's fun. You continue walking until you they reach a... What? They pay me in Wimes. They pay me in Wimes. Sorry, keep going. Uh, <laughs> until you reach a big old, a big old door. Um, hmm. Uh, it's made out of uh, very old wood, uh, and it's kind of uh, degrading in places, but not so much. Um, like the D dungeon, there are multiple routes to take, so it's not like, you know. But this is uh, one route to take, and it's a door. Hmm. All right. I'm going to open the door. All right. We should be inside. Um, so inside, you see a... Sm- What's an antechamber? Is that like the chamber before something? Yeah. I'm going to use that word. You find a small antechamber. I'll just say chamber. You find a small chamber that leads uh, to a flight of steps. Hmm. And you see um, in this chamber, there is... A pipe organ. A pipe organ. A calliope. A calliope is how it's actually pronounced. Seriously? Yes, because we're not British. (laughs) I have always said calliope. You are. I mean, I uh, know. Some, <laughs> I know somebody named Calliope. So. Yeah. Well, no, their name's Calliope. Well, no, they pronounce it Calliope. But they're wrong. <laughs> I mean, my name's Kay. You wouldn't call me Kai. You very well could. I mean, actually. Yeah. <laughs> very easily. Yeah. True. But you wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Exactly you because you. And I introduced myself as Kay. Call me Twasty. Was... Yeah. Or. There's no other way. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, what should there be in here? Hmm. Let's see. So, by now it's beginning to get drac, dark. Uh, it's beginning to get a little bit dark and you're, you're all starting to get a little hungry again. Hmm. You come up a con. You come upon this chamber, of course. And inside, yes. there is a, uh, to the one side, there is a, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Um, it, it's a, uh, uh, there's, like, those, like, little, it's a trap, let's say. Yeah. You can tell that it's a trap of some kind, probably, but you can't tell of what manner, and you are not very well versed in traps, so you're gonna have hmm. to figure your way through. Alright. I think... Hmm. And you said it's getting dark. Yes? You're underground. Yeah, uh, no, I know. I meant getting dark above ground. It's like, oh. it's starting to become nighttime. Oh, oh, okay. Um, but it's kind of dark down here. Yeah, maybe okay. you made a torch or something. Okay, I mean, I was just gonna say I'm gonna cast light. Uh, you wanna use your mana so early? Mm, that's the thing. Um, probably just, like, have it. I probably, like, took a stick from the fire I made. Okay, that's not how torches work. Whatever. Okay, wait, do you have things to make torches? Probably not. Okay, so then you have to cast light. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna cast light. This is our first spell roll. Okay. So how does really that work? work? Um, so let's why don't roll a a let's see, roll a well first. How well kept is your hair? Um. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, why don't you roll a uh, d20? All right. Seven. Okay, the uh, spell backfires. Great. Um, so you Oof. get a very large psh of light uh, for a split second, uh, and then it disappears. Lose... I flashbanged myself. Yeah. Uh, no ill effects or anything, but yeah. lose two mana. Okay. Oh, dear. I certainly am very rusty. This is why adventuring parties exist. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm walking down. Yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, you make it to the trap room. Uh, uh, some scant light reaches it, but otherwise it's pretty dark, so mm-hmm. you're going to have disadvantage on like, looking and stuff. All right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so this is the trap room where we are. <laughs> I'm going to try and... Like, trying to think about, like, I guess just look. Take a look. 
Yeah, okay. Roll look with disadvantage. Uh. Three plus seven, ten. A ten. <laughs> My other roll was gonna be a twenty-four. Oh, jeez. Never mind. My other roll was gonna be a twenty-one. Oh, okay. With a ten. Let's see. With a ten, you see that the room is devoid of the most obvious traps. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no like, uh, s there's no like blades on the ceiling or anything. And as you're walking, the floor tiles don't appear to, like, okay. push down or that anything. that was my next. Um, so there's something, but there is, but you've... I know there's something. You know there's something, but you have to figure it out. Okay. Hmm. Well, this seems to be as good a choice as any. And I'm gonna try and just sneak okay. through the room. <sighs> Roll me a sneak, then. Uh, 18. 17 plus 1. An 18? Okay. So, you, um, stealthily make your way across the room in sort of a half crouch. Mm. When you get around halfway through the room, though, um, the hairs at the very top of your head brush something, and you look up and you see a tripwire has been set at Ooh. about, uh, I don't know, chest height for a tall man. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, that but you are able to sneak under it. Yes. Ah, <sighs> yeah, because, like, crouching, I'm, like... Yeah, a foot tall. I was going to say a uh, one and a half feet tall. Uh, yeah, sure. But, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Ooh, that, that was close. Yeah, uh, you can pull it if you want. <laughs> um... Um, I mean, should I? I'm not going to pull the trap. Okay. So, yes, you, uh... I sneak through. Yeah, you sneak through, and you make your way down the stairs to level two. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this level is, uh... It's not, like, strictly, like, a, a castle, mm -hmm. but it's that vibe. Mm. Old stone. Vaulted ceilings. Mm, no. Okay. It's less, it's very, it was a place of, like, high status, mm. but it was, um, not, uh, not made by the, the very richest people. Mm. Um, perhaps it was, uh, dwarven and make. Ah. being so far underground. All right. Um, yes. So you continue your way on. This part, so deep down, it is, um, there are uh, lit torches every once in a while, nice. so it, you're able to uh, see pretty well. Nice. Uh, but it's like a uh, Minecraft stronghold. Um, yeah. uh, yes. Um, and you continue walking. Around, uh, I don't know, you wouldn't know, but like 6 o'clock, you begin to get hungry again. Oh dear. All this walking is really overexerting me. I let's try and find something with protein. Yeah. So, um you where are you going to come to a rest? You're sort of in a pretty exposed hallway. Hmm. Um, but there are a couple rooms that you can duck into and would serve as a better place to sleep. Uh you you've heard tell that there are like you know, some, like, orcs and stuff down here. So you, you're going to want to tread lightly from this point on. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to just duck into the first room I see that looks kind of safe. Okay. All right. So you, uh, duck into a room. Um, this room is full of old barrels that have long since mm. been looted. And, uh, there is a, I don't know, a somewhat fancy like chandelier on the ceiling. Hmm. Nice. Is it lit? No. Okay. There is also uh, two torches in this room. Torches. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Um. So I still probably have. So you said I have two. Two cucumbers. Yeah, two cucumbers. Cukes. Yeah. <laughs> Cukes. Um. And. Uh, 
I probably still have like some bread. I probably didn't cut up all of it. Yeah, do you, you probably have like a small loaf or something. Yeah. Um, so you, let's say you have uh, I don't know three fourths of your bread left. Cool. Because you, you use two loaves. Yes. All right. Um, I could have a cucumber sandwich. For dinner. I guess. Um, can I look around to see if there seems to be anything growing? Yeah, roll me a look. All right. Nat 20, if that means anything in this. It does, for look. Yeah, plus right. 7, so 27. But. So you investigate around the barrels. Mm -hmm. um, you oh, because this is foraging. Yes. You don't see much. There's no mimics. Yes. Um, however, looking up at the chandelier, uh -huh. you notice that it's somewhat inconsistent. Mm. There's two lights in this room, and this room seems to be some sort of storeroom. Mm -hmm. There's not much reason for a chandelier to be here. And yeah. even though there's no wind, it sort of slightly sways. Mm. Uh, it's unlit, and taking a closer scrutiny at it, it doesn't seem to really have a way to be lit. There's no place for a lamp or anything to go. Huh. And I see you. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, see if I can toss something at it. Okay. Um, there are... Uh, some spots where the stones started to crumble where there's like a few like shards or yeah like I don't know rubble I'll I'll toss something yeah okay why don't you roll me a push slash push this lift okay does that count what did it land on uh, a six plus one seven uh, sure it counts cool um you hit it in one of its little uh chandelier. How hard is it to hit a chandelier really? Yeah, not that hard. Um, you manage to hit it in the um, on the little it's cold. crystals that hang down. Uh -huh. uh, you manage to hit one of those and it sort of falls off onto the ground. Perfect. Um, the thing um, you could swear that it sort of shivers hmm. um, but it continues its uh, disguise. Hmm. Uh, do you want to look at the fallen thing? Yeah. So looking at the fallen thing, you can see that it for uh, resembles more than anything like an insect's wing, mm. more than an actual uh, shard of anything. A very thick insect's wing. Huh. I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. And just like turn it around. Yeah, so you pick it up. Um, it reminds you of a cicada, ah. but if it was, let's say, like times four thickness. Hmm. Clearly not used for flying. Yeah. Huh. D does this look like something I know of? Uh, no. Okay. What are you? She's con She considers just taking a bite. Mm-hmm. But... Isn't gonna do that yet. Mm-hmm. I think she's gonna take another rock and try and okay. throw yeah. it at the thing. Yeah, give me yeah. another push slash pull slash lift. Ooh, 17 plus 118. Yeah, so you hit it right at the base. Nice. Uh, another thing occurs to you that it's not really like tied to anything, it's sort of just mm. hanging there. Hmm. Uh, and the chandelier falls to the ground. Ooh. And, um. I like jump out of the way. Yeah. And. Crash, 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 crash. It, um, kind of breaks in a strange way. Hmm. Um, it starts sort of flailing around. Ooh. Why don't you give me a look roll? Look? Look. Oh, okay. There's no luck in this game. Only say. hard facts. 14. A 14? Okay. Yes, 14. Uh, so it's on the ground. It's pretty harmless now that it's on the ground. And you can see that this is sort of a strange composite organism. Hmm. There is basically... Uh, they're all attached together. The uh, chandelier part where it's like the, uh, you know, the little dangly bits down, the little mm -hmm. crystals. Um, those are all uh, very, like, skinny uh, what looks like ants mm. um, that are all, like, attached to each other in sort of a radius where it's like an ant next to an ant next to an ant yeah. to make a circle. And then there's huh. two of those. And they are all connected by little ant ligaments or little ant, like, connectors that mm -hmm. uh, upon closer inspection, that's what the chain is. It's just a bunch of ants connected yeah. to each other. Huh. And the... Um, very top part where it's all connected to each other is a very large ant with very robust um, 
claws and a big old uh, mouth mm. to uh, hook onto the ceiling. Hmm. Uh, in the middle of all of this is one very large ant that appears to be the queen. All right. So yes, you've killed a living chandelier. Nice. Made out of ants. Huh. And they're big ants too. Yeah. Like, oh. I've. Wow. Nice. Not that size. They're bigger than that. Oh. Okay. I I've never seen one of you before. I guess. And when I say it breaks, uh, one of its like uh like one of the circles of ants that I mentioned uh, has like broken apart. So it's not like shattered or anything. Are they are the ants like running away? Uh or no. no. Okay. They appear to be like fully like dependent on each other and like okay. semi attached. Okay. So it's like a grass isle type animal. I guess. I and I don't it know doesn't grass move. Is the word. Oh, yeah, it moves. Oh, okay. They all move, but they can't like move as like one. That that's what I meant. And I don't think grass isle is the word. It, it probably isn't, but But I get it. Yeah. Alright. I think I'm gonna just like take my knife and just kind of in the top of the head of the biggest one. Yeah, so that one stops moving around, but the rest of them keep moving. Hmm. Well, I don't think stabbing you all is going to be the most efficient and humane. I'm going to look around for a water spout. For a water spout? Roll me a look. Five plus seven, twelve. Twelve? You can catch the faintest sound of running water. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's pretty far away. All right. Like, too far away to, for it to be really... Uh, uh, probably just about far away enough for it to not really be worth full. All right. Like, you could go to it, but you would probably need to set up a new camp. Okay. All right. I In that case, I think I'm just going to use some... I think I am just gonna, you know, take my knife and. Okay, are you gonna cook this thing? Yeah. All right. Give That's me why your... I'm killing it. Yeah, okay. Well, then give me your. All right. Preparation notes. Okay. So. It's all yours, Priscilla. <laughs> take your knife, and uh, break the break the exoskeleton at the head for the amount of living chandelier that you would like to cook. This. This seems to most effectively, uh, I guess, dispatch. Uh, most effectively dispatch them. Now, take your take your pot and place the amount. Er, yeah, take your pot and pour a, a considerable amount of olive oil into it. How much do you have? Just like a little. Okay. Thing. Um, like a, like a small bottle. Um, and, uh, set on the fire to warm. Now, as, as you were waiting, remove the exoskeleton. No, okay. Yeah, no. (laughs) Stopping you there. Yeah, I was gonna say, that feels not correct. Let's see. Does it have legs? Uh, they have tiny little legs. Okay. They, sorry. They have tiny little, like, normal ant-sized legs. Okay. Um, even though the rest of them are bigger, they clearly don't really use them. Except for the okay. main one, which has pretty big legs, but, uh, right. I mean... Would it be worth taking the mandible apart? No. Okay. And these are still insect-sized. Oh, okay. I was thinking, like, lobster. No, they are not oh, that okay. big. Sorry. Okay. No, it's fine. Um, alright. Yeah, in that case, I am, I think I am gonna just smash them up. Alright, we'll uh, say that and pretend you made the idea. Yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. The the image of an old woman taking her fist and just smashing a bunch of ants yeah. is hilarious and <laughs> odd. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's probably the easiest. Whatever. Okay. Uh, as your as your oil is warming, uh, take your fist and just pound the insects into uh, insect meat. 
Um, <laughs> then it's living. <laughs> it's living. Um, uh, with some coat, coat in a little bit of, I guess, coat your hands in a little bit of olive oil so that they don't stick and form into patties. Now, place those patties into the hot oil and cook until brown. Cook, cook until done. Um. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I think I swallowed a hair or something. Um. Cook until done. Uh, remove from the heat and slice up some bread. Slice up uh, two slices of bread for each patty. Um, in in the oil, um, heat uh, toast the bread in the oil, and uh, then put the patties on the put the uh, living chandelier patties on the bread with uh, yeah, uh, and then put the other slice of bread on top. Now the da -da -da sound. Yeah. Um and living chandelier burger. Living chandelier burger. Yes. Very fancy. Yes. Okay. So now we have to roll. Yes. So I have determined ingredient okay, wait, so are you, is it just the bread and the living chandelier? Uh yeah, I think so. Okay, I see. Okay. I'm just hoping they have a little bit of taste. You know? Yeah. Well, okay. So I rolled a seventeen for them. Okay. So that's a d twelve. Okay. Um. That's a d twelve. And the bread is probably just like. Yeah. None of your favorite. I'm just counting the bread as a neutral. Okay. None of your favorite things are in it. Yes. So you don't give that. D, you don't get that d six. Um. Your favorite flavors. They're an ant. So, I would say that they are uh, probably savory. Mm hmm Yeah. All right, so is it just a D12 and a D6? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, 6 plus 12 is 18. Mm hmm And what I got was a 7. 7. 4... Five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Seven on a twelve ain't bad. Yeah. No. It's, that's all right. Yeah. It's decent. Um. You can't help but imagine what else you could put on it. Yeah. Um. And it it could do better. I don't. You don't. Would have been good with some cheese. Yeah. You're a vegetarian, right? Me yes. personally. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you haven't really had a burger, have you? No. Okay, yeah. Burgers with no cheese are, are, like, gross. Yeah. I mean, they're fine, but they don't really taste like anything. Okay. Um, especially with no condiments. So it serves you well to be basically uh, tasteless. It's protein. Yes, it's protein, and it works. It tastes slight bit like uh, crab hmm. or lobster, but not very much to be... Because lobster is bugs. What? Lobster is bugs. True. So are crab. Yep. Crabs is bugs. Crabs is bugs. <laughs> Shimp is bugs. Worms is, is bugs. bugs. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. You don't think about it, but th those those are the same. They're, yeah. They're 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 kind of. Yeah. Fish is bugs. No. Yeah. No. Mouse is bugs. No. Deer is bugs. No. Venus flytrap That's is the bugs. Thing. If you if you. Bat is bugs. Yeah. Bats are. Bugs, Calvin. Uh, hummingbird is bugs. Yes. Uh, Stuff is bugs. Humans, but just like the hands attached to the head is bugs. <laughs> Teeth is bugs. Mm -hmm. Frogs is bugs. Fairies is bugs. Yeah, bug type. <laughs> bug type. <laughs> uh, anyway. Birds is bugs. Anyway, um, bones is bugs. What? Bones is bugs. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, with all of that, uh, it's decent but bland. Mm. Fills your stomach. Not my best. Fills your stomach but not your soul. Yes. Um. 
I remember why. I remember why I Ouch. retired. <laughs> you had a bad burger or something? <laughs> no. <What>? no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's bland enough for her to start thinking. <laughs> yeah, you have to be alone from your thoughts. Yeah. Food's so bad, you gotta yeah, sit yeah. with your thoughts for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just hit the microphone. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Good one-liners this episode. Yeah, real. Okay. Um, and then I guess it's time to go to bed. Yeah. Did you bring a sleeping bag? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> So you go to bed on the Does hard floor. Poor little grandma sleeping on the floor. It's good for your back. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up and all of my back issues. Yeah, you're still uh, like three inches taller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, you're shorter in the nighttime, in the afternoon. I know. And you're taller in the daytime. Yeah. What if you laid down for like... What if we all slept upside down? How tall do you think you'd be if you slept upside down? Uh, probably not that much taller. I think I'd be at least 5'6". Possibly. Well, it would depend. I don't think I would get much taller. Because... Yeah. I don't know. It depends, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway, so you... The we, game we're playing. Yeah, the game we're playing. So you wake up in the morning feeling like somebody um uh and you wake up <sighs> I, I i was trying to do the um amazing amazing digital circus oh. riff yeah, but I instead accidentally did the Buddy Holly one. Okay, wake up <laughs> with a <sighs> thirst for food. Wait, no. A hunger. A thirst for hunger. hunger. No, a thirst for eating uh, water yes. and food. But that's I'm hungry, hungry and thirsty. Yes, that one. Yes. <laughs> I say that. Anyway, um, yeah. Huh, I should get some food. Um, <laughs> That's what you say when you wake up. Yeah. <laughs> My life is dictated by food. And I also probably think, uh, try and keep in track of time. Uh, I have one more day. Two. I think I said three days. You said two days. I said two days? Yeah. Retcon. Uh, three days. Okay, whatever. Okay. So you're going to have to make it to the bottom level today. So you're probably going to have to hustle and probably skip a meal. Hmm. Well, I can't skip breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Yeah. How about, I say if you get a big breakfast, you, can have, you can have no lunch or a light lunch. You just eat a piece of bread. Yeah. Okay. I think for breakfast, I probably also just eat a piece of bread. Okay. Never mind then. With something else. Probably. I don't know. I can eat something. I more mean, substantial if you want yeah well because we've made lunch and dinner oh you're right i should do i should do breakfast yeah all right so i guess you go a search find some eggs okay i'm okay. gonna search for some eggs search for some you know eggs. i should probably also grab some eggs for my baking because i think i am running out of eggs okay um okay so you uh you go searching for some eggies. Mm -hmm. I already said that. So you go, uh, you go walking. Should walking. I do a look. No, not yet. So you make it to that water fountain that you heard last yes. night. Um, this water fountain is uh, fine. It, it's different. It appears to be tapping into uh, like, like the this old like stronghold's reservoir, mm. and not from spring water directly. And so it still is fine, but you notice that there's a lot of, like, string algae growing out mm. of the, the tap. Let's say yeah. there's two taps. One of them has a lot of string algae growing out of it. I'm going to use the other one. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to fill up my pot, I guess. I see. Do you um, want anything to do with the string algae, or are you just going to keep moving on? Yeah, I'll, I'll take some of that. Okay, sure. It can be nice so, to have s for some food. 
you know, a soup. Sure. Yeah. So you pull it, and it just keeps coming. Oh. And then eventually you have a big old, big old stringy wad yeah. of algae. Huh. This, I could make some noodles or something with this. Ooh. I don't know if that worked, but this is anime world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you get that. Do they ever make noodles in Dutch Mesh? Yeah, a couple times, I think. Hmm. No, they make rice once. They do make noodles, I think. Yeah, they do. The first episode. The first episode, they make the noodles with the big old uh, lobster. Right. Or lobster. Yes, 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 yes. Guy, whatever it's called. Yes. Those ones. Scorpion. Um, and it's gross. And that's how they meet Senshi. Yes. Tastes like ass. Yeah. Um, okay. So you continue a walk. I've said this so many times. Um, you eventually make it to a, a spot where something happens. Mm, okay. Uh, Roll encounter now. I'm trying to think. What would have eggs in a dungeon? A harpy. An egg. I mean, not a harpy. Uh, in this basilisk. economy. Uh, yeah. Well, I was going to do basilisk, but I didn't know where you would meet one. Is the mm. thing. It's still morning time, right? Yeah. So you're going to go searching. I guess you, you eat some of your bread as you're walking to yeah. stop you from being hungry. Just so munching. You have, let's say you only have a third of your bread left. No. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> what do you mean? I meant, like, sorry for you. Um, oh. <laughs> um, and you um, finally make it to, I don't know. Let's say you make it to what would have been a greenhouse mm. in its uh, younger days. Uh, nice. Perhaps, like, using magic to, you know. Light spell. Yeah, light spell. And you see, you, you sort of sneak around a corner. Um, you see there's a lot of overgrown crops here mm -hmm. that have grown mm. uh, strange in the darkness. Well, not All the right. darkness, in the relative darkness. Uh, it's almost like over the generations they've become forced to become forced. Right? Forcing is when you do the... Yes. Yeah. See, it was a little pun. Or, nice. And you see, in this clearing, you see uh, an unattended nest. <gasps> Wonderful. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna, you know, sneak through here. Okay, why don't you roll sneak with disadvantage? All right. Uh... Eight. With disadvantage? Yeah. Oh, right. Six. Okay. Doesn't really need disadvantage. Okay. So you're walking and you step on... I don't know. You step on a... Twig. You step on a, a bone. Mm. You Crunch. look under your feet and you've squashed a little mouse skull. Oh. And you hear uh, the sound. <laughs> uh, oh. Not <laughs> that sound. You're out. I hate <laughs> Yeah, and coming out of the, the corner, uh, bobbing its little head, you see a basilisk. Oh. Wait, ba basilisk is the one that they, that's not the big one, right? Yeah, it's the chicken snake. I know, but there's also the big one. That's the cockatrice, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. I can Look just, this up, please. Yeah. Jamie? <laughs> just make sure that we're being right. Yeah. All right. Okay. You see, uh, what, is, what did we determine? Cockatrice, basilisk. Yes. We see. You see a basilisk, um, awesome. slowly come out of the shadows, clucking. Um, but it's much smaller than Cluck. Cluck. you'd have determined. It would be more accurate to say Cluck. this is a bantam whisk. Mm. It's very small and it's white, clearly domesticated. Hmm. Uh, but feral, Ooh. and it, with anger in its eyes. And it's very small. About the size of a Anybody normal chicken. Anybody who's been chased by an angry bird knows. Yes. You're in for some shit. Um, its eggs look store still look normal basilisk size, and you're sort of hmm. about to reach them as it comes over. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's front half, it's fangs glistening, mm -hmm. and it's uh, little spurs as well. Hmm. And you sort of stare each other down. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Look, I just... You can lay more eggs. And I, I, I need to eat. 
I'm gonna go for the eggs. <laughs> You're gonna go for the eggs? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you roll... I'm just know, gonna see if I can out fast this guy. Yeah, do a run. Oh, alright. Well, shouldn't I do grab first? No. For the eggs? No, because you're going to run and then grab them. Oh. Yeah, see if you can get there first. Run, right? Six? Mm -hmm. uh, nine. Nine? Okay. So, the um, you dive... You shouldn't do that, but you do. Yeah. Dive for the eggs. At the same time, the uh, bantamless sees your movement mm -hmm. and sort of jumps to where you were. Mm. So why don't you roll grab now? Ooh, nine again okay so you grab the you grab the eggs at the same time that it grabs you oh ow uh it's little head sinks its little fangs which head the head oh right wait i thought it had both a chicken head and a snake no the chicken has the back part yeah yeah so okay. The head is the snake. Oh, okay. So the actual head, not just the... Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Got yes. It. No, but it is the snake head. I'm okay. just being facetious. Okay. Okay, yes. Um, yes, the snake head ah, bites onto you. Ow! And it, yeah, it hurts like an owl amount, but uh, yeah. more than that, it starts burning. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna have to... Do... Okay. Priorities. Get the head off of me, or put the eggs in my bag. Um, uh, are there enough eggs for me to eat and also take back with me? Yes. Okay. It's a like domesticated chicken, so it's just been laying them in the spot oh, a okay. lot. Right, and I'm just gonna try and. Are they going bad? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take them. Then. I'm While gonna it's put still in, biting you? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in my bag, and then I'm gonna try and pry the... Okay, well, so give off. me a push slash pull slash lift. Are you just gonna use your, like, staff or whatever? Try huh? to psh, 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 or use yeah. your hands? I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay. Uh, and... So, grab, or... Uh, push slash pull slash lift. Okay. Uh, that is 19. A 19. Okay. So, you managed to, um, get the... The snake's, uh... We could use... We could call that move... What? Instead of push, pull, lift. Move. That's true, but it's it, well, it's not a move though. It's like a doing something with your mm. hands, but like with muscles. Oh, you're moving something though. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, that's good. Whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll refine this. Yeah. But I do like that idea. Th we're play testing. Yeah, basically. This is play testing, guys. Yeah, yeah, because we're serious yeah. people. Yeah. With serious lives. Yeah, we do serious things, guys. We do serious things. Serious. I have. I have uh, I have plans. I'm gonna have career, guys. Yeah. We have them currently. Yeah. And we're good at it. Yeah, we're really good at our CEOs, careers. CEOs, girl bosses. Yeah. Uh, anyway, where were we? Okay. Yeah. Yes. But it leaves a nasty, nasty bite that starts, uh, oozing out, uh, sort of a darkish green. Ooh. Or, uh, uh, not a darkish green. It's sort of like a bile green, uh, mm. uh I don't know, venom from it. Yeah. And you sort of shuffle away with all the eggs in your bag. Yeah. They seem to be like water balloons and don't like break immediately. That's good. Um, <laughs> that's, that's good. But the thing is still after you. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my knife. Okay. I'm going to try and like, I mean, grab it like a chicken probably. Okay. So probably grab it with it like a chicken first. Okay. Um, and then I'll say it's going to be difficult for you to get up. Oh. But so anything you do while you're standing up, you'll do with disadvantage. But if you mm -hmm. stay laying down, or stay like you know. Yeah. You you're also an old lady. I should remember. Huh? You're also an old lady. Yeah. I should remember that. But anything you do while you're on the ground, you'll have uh, normal stuff with because okay. it won't be um, you won't be uh, as much in pain. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to stay laying down. Mm -hmm. And. When it comes at me again, I'm going to try and just, like, grab. Okay, like sure. Like, hamburger style. Then roll grab. Well, they know we're American, because of the amount of hamburger stuff we say. True. Nine. 
Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Um, <laughs> yes, so it lunges for you again with its head, mm. and you manage to just, like, grab the snake bit like this before it can get you. Oh, you and little you, rascal. And you can ra get the rest of the chicken in your arms. Okay. Uh, and it's sort of going like, rah, 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 and flying, uh, flinging about, but you have it in a way that it can't hurt you anymore. Hmm. I don't know. This thing's gonna just keep chasing me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, food is food. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna take my knife and just kind of, you know. Yeah. I feel like you should roll something for that. Yeah. I think you just roll a just just roll hands. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 13 plus 4? Okay, that's 17. good. 17? Yeah. So clearly with a, like, a, a life of experience. Yes. You, um, carefully... I grew up on a farm. You carefully dispatch it in a painless way. Yeah. I'm sorry. And it lies limp in Ooh, your hands. Buena. <laughs> and suddenly all the eggs hatch. Ma, 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 ma. No. no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. You got breakfast. Yes. And probably dinner. You have a chicken. Yeah. Yep. And a snake. Yeah. Snake meat. Snake water. Snake water. Love snake water here. We should do like a video, like our for the. We should do a real YouTube video. Uh, -huh. uh faces like a yeah. face reveal, and it's us drinking snake water. What a snake? No, like <laughs> water that a snake's been in. Oh, <laughs> gross. <I> <laughs> I was thinking, like, what would snake water if we could get, like, a big old, like, gummy worm? Oh, yeah! Like and that. we just put it in a cup and yeah, drink it like that. Or, like, noodle, a really long one. Yeah. I could definitely down a cup of noodles. Yeah. I could do ramen. Oh, my God, my mouth is water. Do you know what I was thinking the other day? Hmm. Clam chowder. Hmm. It sounds so good. You, you, I bet you've never had it, right? I've never had it. Oh, man. And I never will. <sighs> Probably. You're missing out. I don't know. I I was just probably I don't know, not probably. I might be allergic to seafood. Oh no. That's because, so bad. I mean my mom is. Oh no. And she became allergic while she was pregnant with me. I see. So. Well, you you you'll have to try it first. Yeah. I don't I don't want to. Man, but uh, like just thinking about it. It's so good. It's like it's not even like soup. It's like so creamy and like thick. Mm. Like a good, like mac and cheese thick, but like slightly less. And it's like it has the little bits of clam in it that like a savoriness to it, and it has like little chunks of potato that sort of like add a little bit of hardness to it. And so you can like take in this like pure, rich, like creamy broth, and then in between that you get like these little hard bits of potato that you just get to crunch down on and little little bits of clam. It's so good. And it's I... nice and warm, and you can like feel it go down your throat into your stomach. It's I so need good. to eat something. <laughs> I need food now. Well, we'll finish this. Yeah. No. Um, Anyways, that's my clam chowder thing. Yeah. You, you can't tell that I've been thinking about it a lot. You can't tell? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can't tell. Oh, I definitely can't. Anyway, uh, so you, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? You're in this little greenhouse. Uh, I'm still hungry. Killed a chicken. You've killed a chicken. A uh, phantom lisk. Yeah, bantam lisk, which is fun to say. It is. Um, got get the it? eggs. Huh? I said, do you get it? No. Bantam? Oh, you don't get it? Oh, okay. What? A, ban a bantam's a small chicken. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's funny. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. That's really fun. Yeah, I was proud of it. Yeah, you should be. Thanks. Um, I didn't realize you came up with it. I did. Nice. I, came up, I, I don't, I haven't reused any monsters so far. Nice. That's cool. Um, well, no, besides a mushroom. And basilisk says, like, their concept. Yeah. Hmm, whatever. From the show, but, but. Yeah. Um. Whatever. Anyway. Whatever. So, you have eggs, you have a chicken, yes. some bread, and you have a bunch of feral vegetables. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, first, I also have a poison leg. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Venomed. Venomed, like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Yeah. Uh. But I also have healing magic. You do. So, without further ado, 
I will attempt to heal my own leg. Okay. I have five mana left. Oh, no, you have twice that. Huh? You have twice that, remember? Because you're using right. magic. Yeah. Yes. So, no, you have le more than twice that. Because you had seven to begin with. Mm -hmm. Times two, you have 14, and you got minus two. So you have 12. Mm. Okay. Okay. I have 12 mana left. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, um... Yeah, I guess you make a fire or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to first try and heal my leg. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, I forgot we were doing this. Okay. And do I also have to, I have to subtract the d4, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. It didn't matter last time because I got like a 2 or something. Yeah, yeah. What'd you get? Is that a natural one? <laughs> yeah! I'll let you reroll it. All I don't right. want you to die. Yeah. 17. 17. Minus? Minus a d4. Three. Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. Not bad. So, you, um, you try to just lay your fingers on the wound, which hurts a little bit, uh, but your magic isn't Ooh, isn't strong stings. as it used to be, so you have to really get your fingers in there, Yeah. Uh, which hurts a lot. Yeah. Uh, according Ooh, to that's the wiki, <laughs> magic can be used as torture Ooh. in this world because it, Healing hurts, magic? So, yeah, cause it yeah. hurts so much. But it hurts Oof. a lot, uh, but uh, the pain quickly Screams dissipates. of an old lady. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like a chicken. Yeah. And then you feel a slime come with it. No. Uh, and you, uh, you're healed. Whew. But hungry. Yeah, and that cost three mana? Yes. Okay. Let's say that, because you did fail the first time and let you get off easy. Yeah. So. That's the thing. Like, you can just cast it again. Yeah, fair. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, wait. You didn't even. Yeah, you could have just cast it again. I, I That's what I did. I just cast it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I guess, do you want to do your cooking while I know? Sure. This will be, like, brunch, I guess? Yeah. So, yes. All right. <sighs> do you need reminded of the ingredients you have? Yes. Okay. You have a garden of feral vegetables. I'll just mm. let you have whatever ones right. that you want. Like, within reason. Yeah. Uh, you have a bunch of eggs. You have a chicken and a snake. You have, like, uh, a l maybe three slices of bread left mm -hmm. in total uh and a bread butt so maybe four but okay. one of them's gonna be small and uh you still have the two sea cucumbers Ooh, they're yes. starting to probably go a little foul yeah. uh, slightly so i should probably eat those soon eat those soon yes oh and i need to roll ingredient quality oh yeah for you for three things no just two. Oh yeah and the vegetables yeah okay are you gonna tell me yet no, I tell you when it's time to roll oh, all of them, right. so that you aren't influenced to use different ingredients. Mm. That way you can, um... Smart. Yeah. Smart. See? Because now you, now you don't know what anything is, so you just make everything the way you want, and then we ah, see if it's good at the end. Nice. I like that. Yeah. All right. So. Slice, uh, slice the cucumber worms into spears. I'm gonna say. Uh... Making sure to remove... Oh, wait, I bone. forgot. You also have the, the algae. If you want to oh, that. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, oh, I'll roll for that. Okay. And I'm assuming there's probably water a water source around here because there's so many plants. Yeah. Yeah. So I can probably just grab water. Mm -hmm. um, um, in a pot, place... Uh, uh, er, hang on. Sorry, I need to just think about... I'm gonna not talk out of my ass this time. Okay. Ready. So, cube, uh, cube the dungeon potatoes, uh, into just rough chunks. Um, love that guy. Uh, guy passed us. Oh, I thought you were saying rough. I thought you were saying rough chunks. I thought this was a whatever the guy's name, strange circumstances joke. <laughs> I think his, I think what we, his name was like Calendar Weird Vibes. Or something. I think it was Weird Vibes. No, it definitely wasn't. It was like. We can just listen to that episode it was eventually. Like scary Door or something. Oh, like yeah. Magnus Archives. <laughs> yeah, his name was Magnus Archives. Hey, I'm Magnus Archives. The name's Magnus. Magnus Archives. Archives. No, the name's Archives. Magnus Archives. The name's the, the Magnus Protocol. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway. Anyway. Rough 
roughly roughly cube the dungeon potatoes into chunks. Does not matter which what kind of size. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, in a pot of water that you are bringing to a boil, toss those and some uh, cute or er, some diced celery. Um, as well as, uh, what kind of other things grow places? <laughs> I immediately forgot everything I thought about. Oh no. Um, Senshi makes this look so easy. Um, okay, yeah. Fuck. What was I saying? I didn't take my medicine this morning. Can you tell? You did it right the past two times. I know. You just gotta talk out your ass. I'm okay. sorry. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Alright. In the pot with the cubed potatoes and celery, toss some dungeon onion. Dungeon. Um, <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> Dun dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> some onion. Sure. Um, along with the, uh, how do you cut a chicken? What are the different cuts? I think, like, breast, legs, the rest of the meat. Okay. Yeah. I know they have red meat, but most people like the white meat, I think. Chickens have red meat? Or dark meat, or whatever. Hmm. That's, like, all the parts that aren't the yeah. wings or the legs. Or the breast. That's the wings. No, it's not. The wing muscles, I think. Well, chicken breast and chicken wings are different. Yeah, I know, but the, the chicken breast is the wing muscles. Oh, okay. Anyway. Sorry. Um, uh, and cover the pot with your boiling vegetables. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Also add your string algae. Um, cover the pot with your, with your boiling vegetables. And... Uh, wash your chicken breast. Er, er, wash your chicken. Er, wa wash your bantam lisk? Yeah. Wash your bantam lisk. Um, after you've defeathered and deskinned it, obviously. Um, take, take, take your knife and, uh, um, cut the breast and uh, drumsticks off and um, I don't fucking know. Cue of the breast. Um, <laughs> and uh, boiled chicken sounds gross. It's soup, whatever. And toss, toss in with your boiling vegetables. Um, Take some of the bones from the drums and place them in to make a bone broth as well. <laughs> Toast, Toasty's expressions. I don't know how that so works. <laughs> Toasty's expressions are so funny. Along with some of the herbs that you found in uh, in this garden. Um, cover it and leave to boil uh, as it forms a nice broth with good vegetables, um, stir, uh, add salt to your liking, um, and the other herbs that you found, um, and, uh, oh, also, uh, um, peel, no, wait, fuck, no, um, and, also put two bantamlisk eggs in to the soup to let uh, boil, like to make boiled bantamlisk eggs. Once those are done, peel and put back in the broth. Uh, cue noise. Oh, wait. Uh, portion, uh, portion in your bowl and top with more uh, herbs that you found. Cue 
cue success noise. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, overgrown dar- uh, overgrown garden bantam lisk egg soup. Egg stew. Feral farm soup. I like that. Feral oh. farm soup. All right. This was your most complex one yet. Yeah. Okay. So you can tell me once you're edit when you're editing how many minutes it took for me to describe yeah, that. All right. So let's see the flavors. Okay. Do you it's put probably... salt in? So it's got to be salt and savory. Mm-hmm. So probably has a little bit of sweet. No. No. I'm saying main, like, main flavors. Oh, okay. Okay. So salt and savory. That's your two main ones. Yes. So add the the ones for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also just some bread on the side because obviously. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you just keeping track of this to make sure? Yeah. So you have salt and savory. Mm-hmm. Um, next, uh, vegetables are a big part, so add your bonus for vegetables. Okay. Your ingredient salt. quality... Savory. ...is... Vegetables. Three of them... No, two were a D10. Okay. One was Wait, a... Oh, sorry. D10. Two of them were? Yes. Okay. One was a D8. Ooh, okay. And one of them was a D12. Ooh. Nice. Alright, is that everything? Uh, should be, yeah. Okay. Does this look right? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Wait a moment, this isn't breakfast. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the- yeah, she th- she takes a moment, and she's about to take a bite, and she thinks, wait a moment, right. not breakfast. Yeah, what? Whatever. It's fine. 12 plus. Oh, one. this sounds good. Besides the hard-boiled eggs, but I would just let someone else add those. Plus 5 plus. I don't really like hard-boiled eggs. Plus 4. Ooh, okay, 38. 38 total? 38. Is that po- the most possible, or is that no. what you got? That's what I got, and now I'm going to add... Okay. So 12 plus 10 plus 8 plus... There was two, eight, two D8s, right? Yes. No, 2 D10. Oh, yeah. Just add what you rolled. It doesn't matter if I... Uh, okay. If you accidentally did something or if I misspoke or whatever, it's fine. Okay. 38 out of 60. Uh, I can do the percentage, so... 63. Yeah, Not it's bad. probably because it's the first one. Yeah. All right, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, how do I describe this for you? Very good. Um, yeah. It's... Uh, the bone broth, it didn't turn out as rich as you wanted. It's not... Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty a, watery. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's a little bit too watery for yeah. um, for your liking. And the chicken is a little bit gamey. Yeah. Um, uh, but the vegetables are really, really good. And the egg... Mm. Uh, the egg is basically neutral. You yeah. thought it would add more than it did. It did. Mm. Probably just adds protein. Yeah. Uh, but it's enough to refuel you for yes. the rest of the day until dinner. And it probably... I probably... Did I make enough to have leftovers? Uh, probably, but it so so it'd be cold. Yeah, I don't know. Cold soup can be good. <laughs> I don't like any cold food. I I sometimes deliberately don't microwave my soup. Hmm. After I I like um. No, I like I want soup. I like anything. Anything. I don't. What am I trying to say? M- most things, I like room temperature or hotter. There's nothing that I just like. Ice cream? Okay, no, I mean, like... Meal. Other than that. Well, like, other than things that actually have to be cold. Mm. There's not much that I... Hmm. Yeah. Fair. I don't know. Fair. Anyway, okay. So, um, now you're in this little garden. Yeah. And you're eaten, packed up. You're ready to keep going. And I have eggs, which yes. will help me mm-hmm. bake. 
um, what you see is that from where the basilisk came, you see is a, a second like sort of connecting greenhouse. Mm -hmm. And you want to shuffle over that. Yes. So you see that this one is less well stocked than the one you were in. I'm sure you yeah. peeked into this one, but Ooh, there was this might be pineapples. But there wasn't really anything in here that of note. It's mostly just uh, some like weeds that have overgrown this place. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still probably edible, but they're not the best. Yeah. But you do see in this room there is a trap door. Ooh. Oh, can I? Can we also say that I've stocked up on the vegetables that? Yeah, I found? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, trap door. Okay. I'm gonna open it. Yeah. So you open the trap door and you see that it descends down a pretty long way. Uh, what it descends down into a um, basically a ladder that descends into a, a very tight spiral staircase. Mm -hmm. You can say, with your intuition, you could figure that this probably breaches down to the um, next level. All right. I'm going to head down that way. All right. Um, sure. So it's uh, very close quarters. Uh, you have to... Well, yeah, yeah, never mind. I forgot that you're a gnome. So you're, uh, yeah. you're able to pretty comfortably walk through this little passage. Let's see if you find anything. Um, I have nothing to roll. Uh, as you're walking, you find yourself in front of a very uh, thick uh, spider web. Mm. Okay. Or something similar to the spider web. Oh. Okay, Flora, this is interesting. You've settled on an Irish accent. Have I? Kind of. This is interesting. Interesting. Oh, Flora, this is a little bit interesting, isn't oh, it? Oh, Flora. I guess not quite then. Yeah. Oh, Flora. Oh, Flora. <laughs> You've settled. You found something certainly quite interesting. Yeah, um, I think she's gonna take her like knife and just kind of try and cut. Yeah. Away, in. Can you roll me a no? Sure. Um. Twelve. Sorry, that was so much math. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I did it wrong the first time and had to redo okay, it. Okay, I just saw your lips moving and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was adding five and seven. Wait. Twelve. Yes. I have a calculator. I'm just okay. going to use that. Well, you've already figured it out. It's twelve. Why did you do that? Just to check. <laughs> check your math always. Yep. Anyway, um, so with a twelve... I don't know. You notice this is a, as you're cutting through it, you've, I guess, swept away spider webs before. Yeah. Um, and they always, like, stick to your broom or whatever. This doesn't stick. It sort of just, hmm. like, nicely slices through. Yeah, just... Yes. Hmm. It, it's, 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 uh, tighter than a spider web is. Hmm. Uh, and it doesn't really have much bend to it. It sort of just oh, breaks. It's... Yeah, it's sort of rubbery. That's disturbing. Yeah. Um. Ooh. I don't see a spider around, do I? Mm, roll a look. 18. 18, okay. In the corner, you see a very large, but not that large, uh, crab. Oh! On the wall. Oh! Sort of uh, nicely gurgling away. Hmm. It's uh, upside down. Hello. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna keep on walking okay and i'm gonna kind of back away see if it does anything it doesn't it continues gurgling away okay i think she's full enough that she doesn't want to mm -hmm. disturb this guy any more than because she's kind of eaten her way through the dungeon so far yep which is i mean fair but, yeah you know ecosystem balance mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> You're giving me a look. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you continue down the dungeon. All right. Ah, dungeon food. Ah, dungeon food. Okay, so you make it to the end of the door, and you open the door and see that you're in a much larger greenhouse. Mm. This must have been able enough to feed, like, a whole city. Uh, there oh, wow. are artificial lights at the ceiling. Hmm. So, most of them are, uh, or some of them are unlit, but most of them are lit, enough to trick your brain into thinking that it's, like, bright day. Hmm. Um, and you basically see, like, a rolling feral pasture of, uh, creatures. Well, not creatures, mostly plants. 
um, it sort of settled itself into, from whatever it was, into, like, a little meadow made out of, I guess, like, uh, out of meat. How much carnivorous plants do I see? Well, I was gonna get to that. Okay. And in the back of this, it's a very, like, long, let's say, like, a dome. Mm-hmm. At the very back of this, like, dome, you see that there is a little, like, forest. Mm. A little bit away. You see, um, different, uh, <laughs> different species of, um, like, dungeon animal have sort of, uh, niche partitioned their way through here. Hmm. Uh, especially, uh, there's, like, two... We love niche partitioning. There's two little, there's two different types of, like, basilisk down here. There's, like, hmm. one, like, larger one, and one smaller one. And they're both basilisks. Yes. There's not, a like, a cockatrice. Yeah. Not. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. All right. It'll take you, uh, an hour or so to get across this bit. All right. I'm, and you said this is, like, wheat? Yes. All right. I'm, I think I'm gonna... You know, try and pick some of it. Thresh. Yeah, I'm gonna thresh my way through a little bit. I don't bit. know you roll for that. Thresh through. Why don't you roll? Maybe tinker, maybe? I like grab. Alright. That was resolute and didn't even roll. Uh, that would be 13 plus 4, 17. 17? Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. So you managed to cut off a fair amount. You know that, uh, you know a little bit about, like, the process of converting yeah. grain to stuff. Grew up on a farm. Yeah. So, the amount that you're able to get is, it's a lot, but it's pretty insignificant for the amount you'd actually need to make anything decent with it. Mm-hmm. So, it might just be encumbering to you. Yeah. But it was a fun little... Yeah. Uh, I can put some of the seeds in my yeah, bag. Sure. Maybe grow some of it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you let the rest of it just, uh fall into the ground. Yes. Um, so you eventually make it to this uh, little forest. Uh, you can see that it's mostly carnivorous plants. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, From a lie. I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, some of them have like tentacles and mm. you see like the corpses of like strangled birds uh, hanging from them like a grim Christmas tree. Ooh. Or, uh, as we say in non-denominational land, a Christmas tree. Sorry, I don't celebrate it, um, like, religious-wise. Yeah. Uh, but if you celebrate anything else, it's fine. But, it, I mean, it does look like a Christmas tree. So yes. Sorry to all, you know, everyone else who doesn't celebrate Christmas. We're not talking about this. It looks like a Halloween tree. Um. Sure. Uh, and in the back, Gallows tree. a, well, whatever those are. Like, umbrella lid, those things. Bromeliad? Yeah, that one. A bromeliad. Yeah! <laughs> a bromeliad. <laughs> yes, you see that. With oh. a perfect uh, orange pineapple, kind of, at the very top, right? That's how they grow, mm. right? Yeah. Wait, is the pineapple... Whatever. This one grows it on the top. Yeah. It, no, it does grow it on the top. Yeah, well, this one does, even if the real one doesn't. So, yes. The fronds are very large and serrated. Mm. And you can see that they, uh, as the sun fil- or you know, the light filters through, you can see that they're all full of water. Mm. Water. 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 They pay me in worms. They pay me in worms. Water. 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 That's water. It did. What? <laughs> That's German. Oh. Water. Yeah, this is water. I just no. asked drinking, <laughs> drinking liquid. <laughs> das ist. Das ist drinking liquid. <laughs> Never getting any views from Germany. <laughs> Never. What's French? Yeah. Wait, this is a uh, le piss. We only drink that. <laughs> no. We only drink water from that uh, the le river penis. that we have. And <laughs> <laughs> we only drink penis water. Penis water. <laughs> piss. We only drink water from das and penis. Say uh... le penis. Say le penis. <laughs> In America, I only drink water from a cop's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Cops cock. I only drink water from the bottom, from the sweat of their toes. <laughs> a cop's Whoa. toes. Boot liquor. I don't know. Yeah, that was the joke of the Oh. Okay. 
All right. Anyway, Libra, now that I'm we've offended allowed, everybody, we've I'm who's not allowed to have any water. <laughs> the poor, the, the mean. The mistress. River Thames is it's, too polluted. It's too. I'm not allowed. My parents don't allow me it. My name is little Timmy Oliver. <laughs> Timmy Oliver. Duke of Hastings. Or what is the water? I only know of ice and snow. <laughs> I drink vodka. <laughs> I drink vodka and eat bear meat. That is liquid for me. <laughs> We've managed to um, alienate every single person who has yeah. ever listened to this podcast. Well, except for that one person from like Saskatchewan or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, wonder I wonder if you're still watching. That's all the, um, the accents that I feel like I'm allowed to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you annoyed every single white pe- per- person. Every white person. Yeah. Every white country. You have. Yeah. Uh, Fuck them. Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. What anyway, were we doing? What were we doing? Oh, the Bromeliad. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what was happening. Bromeliad. The Bromeliad. Yes. Okay. With a pineapple. Okay. Oh, wonderful. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to... I'm gonna say I guess I'm just gonna walk up. I'm gonna be careful of the plants, just well, avoiding the plants. It's pretty tall. You're gonna have to climb it. Oh. Uh, so. <laughs> You'll have to figure out a way out. What if I summon a familiar to do it for me? Okay. I can use I'll my bite. summon spell. I'll bite. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So... For this, so the summon spell that you have mm-hmm. is going to be like the one that Marcel used. Yes. Right, you have the only the minor one? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So this will be the one that Marcel used, basically. Mm-hmm. So you're going to make the fish thing. Yeah, so you're going to have to make something like that. All right. Uh, because of that, because you're going to be able to make it like that, you're going to be able to, like, I guess, like iterate upon it. Mm-hmm. Also, you get three if you succeed. Cool. So you'll, you'll be able to make iterations to do your work slightly differently, All right. uh, depending on if it succeeds or fails. I'm but you, try make a climby thing. But you'll have to succeed first. Okay. So why don't you roll me, yes, just your magic check. Okay. Do I have a plus to anything? No. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Mm-hmm. That's not quite good enough. Okay. You're, uh, if you, you can do it as many times as you want. Oh, right. And I also have to su- Oh, yeah. Subtract. Yeah, that was a 10. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, okay, so you lose, let's say, you lose some of your vegetables. You realize mm-hmm. pretty on it, pretty early on it's not going to work, though. So you're able to salvage most of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you lose two mana. Mana. Okay. But you can, um, you can cast it again if you'd like. Mm-hmm. All right. But you don't have to. I am going to try and cast it just one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'm not going to cast it. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a two. Yeah, your next batch comes out weird and you have to kill them. <laughs> yeah, I have to... I just... They start doing something and I'm just like... You have to abort them. Yeah, I'm just like... Ooh. It's like that one guy, you have to hit them with a Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I have a five mana left. Um, okay, so... Alright. Hmm. Well... I guess, time for me to try and climb this thing. <laughs> See okay. how that goes. So, why don't you roll? You know what? Okay. Here's what you're going to do. I'll have you roll. I feel like exert would be the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I don't know. Climbing, you're, I mean. I could try and drink the water. You said that you're pretty muscular. Yeah. So, I'll say exert. I'll cool. say you're pretty you're, you're you're probably pretty capable of doing this unless you're sort of short so you're able you don't have to carry that much weight yeah. proportional to your muscles so fifteen me, a fifteen okay that's pretty good you managed to make it about halfway up cool without getting into the pool of, pools of water yes and um now the pineapple is it's not really how large is the pineapple compared to me um it's probably the size of your like head. It's like okay. normal pineapple size. Oh, okay. Um, 
you get high enough, maybe not halfway, you get high enough that you could probably start tapping it with your staff mm -hmm. or finding a similar solution. Yeah. I think, yeah, I'm going to try and just, with my staff, like, like the end of it, yeah. like the pointy end, kind of just try to pick it off and, like, flick it onto the ground. All right. Uh, th yeah, that's definitely a push after those lift. Yeah. Classic push pull. <laughs> Four. Four. So you manage to do it. It flies into the air. <laughs> and hits the ground. Okay. Cool. No. Uh, you can see that down there. Um, Would I be able to heal it? Okay, I like this a lot. Actually. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Make your DM look at you like that. As that's such a good idea. <laughs> so can I'm, I? I'm gonna have to let you. <laughs> Man, such a good idea. <laughs> Man, okay, hey, yeah. I have five mana left. Yeah, you can a hundred percent do that. All right, and Man. it's a major spell. Yes. Seventeen minus fifteen. Yeah, it goes back together. Nice. It screams. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, you, mend, you mend it back together with flesh and bone. Not really. No. Yeah. But you do have to like finger it. Kind of. It's kind of gross. What? You do. That's yeah. how it works. Yeah. Man. Oh man, wait, I feel like. <laughs> You're really awkward. You like broke your like nipples or something. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Top surgery must be interesting. Oh, bottom surgery. Ugh. I mean, in real life, that's. Yeah, kind of what they have to do. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Man. I'm just trying to imagine what that would. Butt surgery. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Anyway. I, I love Dungeon Rush. <laughs> Me too. All right. So yeah. Lyos arguing that he can, in fact, eat the mermaid because it doesn't have nipples. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's like, he doesn't have nipples. It's he's not of, a mammal. He's kind of right for it. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'll yeah. Be honest. Anyway. <laughs> 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 okay, so you you make your way back. Okay, wait. So you pass by the web again. But the you make what? your way the web. Oh yes. But you make your way back up again. Oh yeah. I'm just like kind of humming. I'm just like. Mm -hmm. The crab's still there. Mm. Oh hello, hello again. Roll no again. What are you doing? So that's a nineteen plus five, twenty four. Nice. It's the super sticky ingredient you needed. <gasps> Remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was gonna. That's what nice. it was. Nice. Because I said it came from a crab. Oh. So, that's what I, yeah. so is it the web or the crab that I need? No, it's the web. Okay. Because it's super sticky. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So the web that it currently has kind of congealed, but if you could maybe mm -hmm. get it to spit into like right. a cup or something, talk to it. Yeah. You could. <laughs> I'm done. I'm like, I can't take this. <laughs> um, if you can make it, make it spit into a cup or something, you could, you could have enough. All right. So I got to make it angry or just, I can just sit here until it spins another web. True. If I, no, I'm thinking it's going to have to spit. Like if it spins um, a web, it's going to like spin one. You gotta oh, make yeah. it like, pit. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. Um, I'm gonna poke at it with my staff. I'm gonna poke at it again. I'm just gonna keep poking until it does something. I doesn't really care about that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast light. Oh, wait, I forgot to take some of my mana. One mana, right? Oh, it was a major spell. Yeah, so three. You only have two left. Okay, in that case... And, it, and if I get down to no mana, that's going to be bad for me. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, it will be. Yeah, so I'm gonna save that. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Um. Yeah. Alright. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna try and... I'm just gonna toss something at it. Okay. I'm gonna Here, throw a rock. I'll, you know, I actually... I'll give you... Uh, I'll give Because you rolled a 19, right, to mm -hmm. know? Or more than that, 24. actually. 24. Yeah, so I'll say that um, this crab will spit when it's happy. Oh, okay. What does it eat? Mmm. See? Ah. Oh, um, can we... Did I get any more eggs afterwards, do you think? Well, you, you had more than two. Oh, you're right. You had a bunch, so. Yeah, I don't need, like, 15, so. Yeah. I think I'm gonna toss it an egg. <laughs> toss it an egg? I don't know. <laughs> Just throw an egg. <laughs> no. Um, I'm gonna put an egg down on the floor and okay, walk, sure. like, back away. Why don't you roll, uh, convince? Alright. It's our first mouth. No, it's not. Never mind. Okay. Uh, 15. 15? Okay. So. Why don't you say some soothing stuff to it as you back away? All right. Hey, I've got some. I've got an egg for you. You can, you can, you can eat it. Don't worry, Flora. Flora won't hurt you. So it sort of comes down from its little perch and it starts sniffing up the egg and it eats it. And I guess you like put up a cup like yeah, this. Yeah, put the pot. Yeah, next to it. Yeah. And so it eats it and it goes. It's out the little piece of shell. Oh. Pit. Yeah. And it's Pit. just like so sticky. Yeah. And so now uh, you have super sticky. Sticky thing. Stuff. Yeah. Super sticky slime. Yeah. From a crab. Extract. Cra crab extract. Crab extract. Well, that seems like you killed it. Yeah. Super sticky spit. Yeah. So you have that. Yeah. For making the pineapple go upside down. Yeah. <laughs> I Pineapple about upside that. down cake. It's the upside down. Yeah. I'm getting upside down. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So. It doesn't have to make sense, guys. No, it doesn't. So the crab's happy. Yes. Crabby. Happy crab. Crabby. <laughs> yeah. No. Crab happy. Crab happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> it's also probably what happens when you eat too much crab. True. It's you crabby hour. Yeah. <laughs> guys, it's crab hour. It's the hour of the crab. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I guess you can walk past it again. Yeah. I'm gonna, like, pet it a little. Yeah. And I'm gonna walk past it. Yeah, and I'm gonna, like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much! Yeah. My grandson will love love his pineapple on upside down cake. Thank you so pineapple much for the upside right down. Pineapple right side up. Huh? Pineapple right, right side yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, let's see. You, if you, you hustle a lot, and you manage to make it back to the, like, the entrance to level two mm -hmm. by nightfall. Cool. So. One day left. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to make yourself dinner and go to All bed, right. but in the morning, you'll be able to make it home and do it. All right. I think I'm going to eat, I'm just going to make some vegetables. Or just reheat your soup or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so you won't do a thing. You eat it, you go to bed. Reheat your thing in the microwave. Yes. <laughs> Carefully place it in the microwave and hit the buttons. Yeah. Beep, beep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure that none of your cooking utensils are in the microwave. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and you don't, like, want to get up yet? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> happens again. <gasps> beep, beep. <laughs> Fine, I'll get it. Jeez. <laughs> My brain is going to start narrating to me when I make food again. <laughs> okay. Um, I call that the senshi effect. The senshi effect? It's very scientific. Yeah. Okay. So you make or it... Or the Tetris effect, but with senshi. Yeah. The centris effect. Centris, centris effect. effect. <laughs> I actually think that maybe mm. both sides are on the wrong. <laughs> yeah. There's maybe, extremists on both sides. Yeah. Maybe Marcel shouldn't have said that to Lyos, uh, said yeah. that to Lyos but Lyos should not have tried to convince her that it was a mammal or not a mammal yeah true <laughs> anyway. i think it should be up to the states <laughs> we should just 
close off the dungeon. Yeah, just close <laughs> off the dungeon. <laughs> we should leave it up to everybody. I don't like these canary guys coming into yeah. my town and killing all the monsters. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. So you make it back home, let's say, uneventfully. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Home or up to the... No, home. Okay. You make it home. Yes. And you make it oh, home. I've got to make your this. stuff I'm on the ground. Make a feast. Yes. So you, you have to... Love that dude. That's a that's just a motorcycle. Okay. Uh, I haven't heard bad muffler guy in a while. Yeah, he may have died. Or gotten a better muffler. Probably not. Yeah. People like that don't change. Yeah. Um. Okay. R.I.P. Muffler guy. R.I.P. Muffler guy. <laughs> you will not be missed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will not be missed. Okay. Uh. Okay. So yeah, you have to make a lot of stuff. So, I guess this will be your final thing. Mm-hmm. Um. I wish I wrote down what all the ingredients were. Here, I'll do that now. Okay. Okay. So, um... <laughs> no, stop. Okay. Okay. Copyright. Uh, yeah. And annoying. I'm... Uh, I'm not going to speak right into the mic because I have to lean back to write. Mm-hmm. But, Kay, will you tell me the ingredients that you're going to use to make this your ki- this kid's, uh... like Cake? Well, or I just... assume you're making a bunch of stuff, yeah. right? So just list all the ingredients that you're going to use. And okay. then I will um, write down what I remember of them. So. Egg. Okay. Z- um. Pineapple. Uh, here, wait, give me a second. Pineapple. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like the face you made. Okay. Um, <laughs> swear to God. Um, pineapple. You can also use the ingredients that you have in your own house, because I yeah. assume you have, like, stuff to make bread. Yeah, flour. And okay. I will count anything you didn't forage as just uh, neutral. neutral, like I always do. Sugar. Okay. Milk. Okay. Super sticky stuff. Uh, let me roll for that. Hmm. Um. Baking powder. When was that invented? I don't know. It's not. What is it? It's just. It's like made in a lab, right? It's not real. It's just sodium bicarbonate. Oh, I like the way it tastes. No, maybe I'm thinking of. What's the stuff that you Arm and Hammer? So, uh, baking soda. I like the taste of it. Hmm. It's tingly on my tongue. What? You... I don't eat it. Okay. The, but... Like, but when you put it in something, it like, whoosh, and you get a little taste in your tongue, and it tastes nice. Mm, yes. Um, so that's for the cake. Okay. And then I'm going to make just some, like... I'm going to make some, like, snacks. I'm going to make him dinner. Okay, okay. As well. So are you going to use the vegetables you forage? Yes. Okay. And more of the eggs. Okay. I'm going to make a little, like, quiche stuff. I don't know. All right, sure. Um, and then is everything else besides that just going to be stuff you have in your house? Yes. Okay. So uh, for the last time, for the last time, what, no, uh, why don't you explain uh, your... Your process. All right. So what you're gonna make. All right. And then we'll get it all together. Take sift, it away. Yeah. In a large bowl, sift together your flour, sugar, and baking soda. Oh, and also a little bit of salt. Um, whisk, whisk together. Um, until combined. In a slightly smaller bowl, take your wet ingredients, your uh, bantamless eggs, your uh, and two bantamisk eggs, uh, and your, oh, did I say sugar in the other bowl? Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. You may have, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, sugar, um, Wet. milk, <laughs> uh, half, half a bottle of milk. I'm just assuming the bottles are like... Moo milk. <laughs> Um, long, long milk. Yeah. 
<laughs> your super sticky stuff and mix together until combined. Uh, combined into uh, a pretty sticky paste. Um, oh, and also uh, chop up your pineapple um, and uh, put set set half of it aside. Uh, set half of the chopped pineapple aside, and the other half uh, mash into your wet ingredients uh, and mix. S uh, slowly pour uh, dry ingredients. Slowly pour the dry ingredients over, mixing each time uh, until everything is combined together. Now, uh, add a quarter of or add half of the set aside pineapple into into the mixture and combine until uh, evenly spread out. Uh, now, in a cake tin, er, pour pour that mixture into a cake tin and bake until until fluffed up and uh, nice golden brown. Uh, and when you put a wooden dowel in the in the center, um, it comes out clean. Uh, take uh, take a um, it, your your cake pan should also have little stands uh, to go with it, so as to let it cool upside down. Um, it should not fall out. It does not fall out. Um, <laughs> uh, and um, now, as this is baking. Start to chop all of your vegetables up. Um, chop into smallish, uh, smallish cubes, and set aside. Uh, in another bowl, take uh, the rest of your, uh, almost the rest of your bantamisk eggs, and whisk until you have, or until they're all combined. The yellow and white are combined. Um, now. In a in a pan with some oil and some of the herbs that you collected from the dungeon um, saute your vegetables until soft and uh, done <laughs> and then uh, in another pan slowly or in another pan make the, uh, no, hang on, in a muffin tin, um, put a layer of, pour, pour into each tin a layer of bantam whisk whisk, whisked egg, and then on top of that, put, um, put your sautéed vegetables, um, and then after the cake comes out and you are cooling it upside down, place your uh, place your muffin tin into the into the oven and uh, then take out in 10 minutes um, now set on the table to cool uh, with the bread that you uh, were making before all of this happened um, in with the bread that you were making before all of this happened um, Cut, cut slices and butter uh, generously. Uh, now, make sure the table is all set. And, uh, uh, yeah, set aside. Now, when your cake is fully cooled, um, take, or as your cake is cooling on the stove, melt some sugar, uh, yeah, uh, melt some sugar and until it is um, until it is golden and boiling. Now, on your cake, um, oh, and then combine some combine with some butter. Um, <laughs> Toasty's expression is very funny. Um, uh, combine with some butter. Now. Once your cake is cooled, 
um, gently remove it from the cake tin and place on its uh, serving plate. Carefully, so as not to burn yourself or melt anything around you, pour the butter-sugar mixture over the cake in drizzles. Um, and while, while the butter-sugar mixture is still, uh, is still liquid, put the rest of the pineapple on top of it. Um, <laughs> and, uh, place on the table. And the noise happens. Uh, da-da! Parker's birthday meal with oh. pineapple upside down cake. Nice. Okay. Yes. That sounds great. Okay. I really hope the pineapple, yes. your expression about the pineapple was... My expression was... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I rolled a 20. You did? Yes. Nice! That, I mean, I wish I took a picture of it. It was so perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Yeah, literally, it was perfect. Yeah, so I have a d20. Yeah. Plus uh, six. The healing gave a little grandma's touch. Aww. Okay, yes. So, all the stuff rolled together. Okay. So, I guess we're just going to roll this as one. Yeah. Um. Makes so, sense. So, what did you make? You made, like, a quiche thing? Yeah. Okay. So, I will he give... He likes eggs. <laughs> I'll give you sweet, mm-hmm. savory... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang okay. on, hang on. Um, sweet, savory. And salty. And salty. Okay. okay. No bitter here. No. Oh, and a D6 for my vegetables. Yes, D6 for your vegetables. Mm-hmm. D20 for the, yeah, for D- it being really good. D20 and a D6 for the pineapple. Mm-hmm. A uh, D10 for the eggs. Mm-hmm. Nice. One D8 for the super sticky stuff. Uh huh. And one D8 for the vegetables. Nice. Man, this is gonna be so good. Hopefully. Yeah. And then is that all? Yes. Okay. Roll them all together. What do you get? Hopefully something really good. Hopefully. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Hot dice, hot dice, hot dice. Ooh, okay. Oh, they were all ones. No. no. <laughs> oh, man. <my. laughs> this better go good. I'm going to be so mad. Okay. 54. Ooh. What's the total? We're finding out now. <sighs> okay, 20. I kind of like having you do the math for it. 10. Yeah. Plus. I got a 10 on the D10. Oh, that's good. Plus 7. Plus. 7. 4. On the D8. Oh, wait. 50 was the highest you can get? Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. I don't know why I'm doing that. 20 plus. And D7. 10. <laughs> plus. 8. Plus. Eight plus eight plus six plus six plus six plus six out of seventy-eight. Okay. Fifty-four divided by seventy-eight times a hundred. Okay. What is it? Sixty-nine point two. Nice. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Seventy-eight. Sixty-nine percent. Oh well. Yeah, around 70%. Yeah. That, that, that's decent. That's good. That's decent, yeah. That's good. It's good. Okay. So, uh, I guess Parker and his parents mm-hmm. come over. And some of his friends, I think. Sure. Yeah. Some of his friends, uh, they don't have names. They're yeah. orphans. <laughs> <laughs> We've never had food before. Oh, well, I'm sure you're going to love this one. This food. I don't even know what, it is. what hole does it go in. The one that you talk out of. Okay. And then Parker's like, hi, I'm Parker. <laughs> oh, Parker, I, I really hope that you love all of this. Your your uh, your granny has such a story to tell you. Yeah, so I guess uh, you all sit down and you eat and you mm-hmm. tell the story or whatever. And uh, they're like, why is grandma talking about yeah. herself during my party? <laughs> no. Ah, uh, dungeon food. 
to... Well, wait, let me... I'm okay. gonna wrap it up. Okay. And so everybody likes the stuff. Nice. The pineapple is the favorite of everybody. Yes. Uh, they're like, hmm, nice. this is good. Nice. It has a little bit of extra acid to it because it's carnivorous. Yeah. Her hyper carnivorous. Yeah. Uh, but everyone likes it. Everyone likes all the other food as well. Uh, they all enjoy your story, but they're slightly concerned. Yeah. You got bit by a snake? What? Oh, it was fine. Oh, I've never had food before, and this is the best food I've ever had. Oh, uh, I'm so glad. Yeah, and everyone else is like, well, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah, uh, there is no pineapple. Only who gets pineapple and who doesn't. What? Uh, dungeon food. <laughs> Delicious oh. in dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious in dungeon. Ah, uh, dungeon, dungeon food. food. Delicious, Delicious in, in dungeon. dungeon. The end forever, for real. Yes. We'll never come back to this world. Yep. Well, maybe we will. I don't know. I, I really liked that. I had a lot of fun. Me too. I feel like the story came together really well. Yes. In a way I didn't expect. Yeah, me I'll be either. honest. I, um... It really did feel like an episode. It really did. I, I don't know. Like, I just... Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, uh, I just like playing D&D where, like, the narr- where the story just takes you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, you know, where it's like you have a vague idea of where to yeah. go. It's like, you know, the end goal is there has to be a plan, right? Yeah. And you just slowly add on little details that make it, like, just... Yeah. Perf- you know what I mean? Like... You just slowly add on that, like, oh, there's this greenhouse, and then you slowly add, oh, well, there's a bigger one, and then... Oh, and there's a bantam lisk. Yeah. I just feel like that sort of thing yeah. works really Ooh, well. Oh, and you got bit. Yeah. Well, and... we're talking about, like, the progression of uh, the areas. Oh. But yes. that is true. Yes. Yeah. And then, man, that nat 20 that nat for 20 the pineal, pledge. I wish I... pineapple? I wish I could have, like, celebrated better yeah. uh, for it, but I, I didn't want to reveal. So, I knew that you either got a nat 20 or a nat 1. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh no. For all of the cooking segments, I uh-huh. just closed my eyes and just imagined myself eating all the food. I could tell. <laughs> Your face while I was describing the pineapple food. Yeah. The pineapple mm. uh, upside down cake. Man. I just love yeah. food. Me too. Um, the funny thing is, uh, during this, uh, my family has ordered food. Yeah. Um, which is here. So. Um. <laughs> so should end. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, watch Dungeon Meshi if you haven't. Oh, yeah. Or read it. Yeah, or read it. Because we should. Yeah. Neither of us have. But we should. Yeah, we should. Yes. Um, I'm going to eat my food and watch Dungeon Meshi while eating. I am going to not do that. But yeah. You're going to listen to Magnus Archives, aren't you? It depends. Yeah. I'll have to see if any YouTuber I like mm. have posted any videos. And if not, then you're going to watch. Yeah. That probably will anyway, honestly. Yeah. I, I thought it was very funny, because um, you said, oh, I'm probably not going to listen to it that much. Yeah, well, uh, no. Uh, in I between. D- no, I, well, I, be in between what? Or in between, uh, I'm going to listen to it in between other things, and then two days later, you're on, uh, you're on episode 52. Oh, you think that wasn't in between other things? Okay, <laughs> fair. You do not know, you have not met the likes of, of my consumption of content. You that... should wait. You just you wait until until later in the season because you being able to do this is very funny in context of what you are listening to. Okay, sure. Um, anyway, no, that was the, me listening to the fifty two episodes was in between me watching like two hour long video essays. Wow. <laughs> so. Uh, wow. Yeah. When nice. I listen to something, I don't not listen to it. I listen yeah. to it very hard and very fast. Yes. The biggest and perhaps even the fastest. Yes. The Magnus Archive. <laughs> Great guy, Magnus. Whatever happened oh, to him. Oh, God. Oh, you saw, don't even know. I saw a ghost once. They but, had yeah. me write down a statement. They said, this is probably not true. <laughs> they called me back later. They said they found the body. I said, you could not have found the body. The worms ate it. All right. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. What are we doing now? Oh, the end of yeah. the podcast. Or, so, uh, the episode. Yeah. What so we what's happening after this? What's happening after this? <laughs> you like to know, idiot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no. What's happening after this? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. You explain. So, that... What will they see in, like, a month from now? Yeah. What will you see on Halloween night? Or Halloween day, probably. Yeah. Whichever, whichever... It is. Is it? Is it Halloween that it's coming out? Yeah. Wow, nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm... Well, okay, so... 
we will have to take a quick break for it mm. to come out on Halloween, but yeah. it's fine. That's fine. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but mind you, it's it's not going to be a break from us recording. Yeah. No, well, I know. No, no, no. I'm telling the audience. Oh. So I'm saying, uh, just so you guys know, that we'll be, we'll be active. Yes. Not Which means we, we might have a little bit of a backlog. Well, we already do. We do? Yeah. We're working the September 1st, and it's going to come out oh, on October-ish. Right. You're right. Or the very end of September. Right. So. And we have... Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We both know what happens. Kind of. Season two, episode one. Season two, episode one. What happens? Perhaps, um, uh, there's a spooky place. Nah, I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not that spooky, guys. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, I have a frog next to me. Bye. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna, like, cut it there. Uh. Whatever. That didn't work. See you on the Flippity Dip Dip, but I forgot to say that. Uh, see you all later. Yeah. And remember, guys, um, D- uh, happy dun- Halloween. Uh, dun- oh. Uh, yeah, remember, guys, odd uh, dun- dungeon d- d- Happy food. Halloween. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, you got, uh, lobster. What got- was it? Blue lobster? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should we say goodbye? <laughs> yeah, oh sure. Why did, have we not figured out how to I, end this? I don't know. We've been doing this for... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, and if you want this, uh, <laughs> if you want the if it, it, PDF Tumblr, yes. maybe? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, also... We're active w- on Tumblr. It would have... <laughs> oh, I forgot to say that at the beginning. It would have cut you off, but I pressed the wrong button to end it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. After all these years. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.